I'm just touching those sound levels as always, but I think we'll be fine. We we do the pre-stream what? We're still 30 minutes early anyway, so who's ever in chat can There's, um, we're just waiting for a few more people, but we still have half hour, but also updated for challenge so people can just, uh, check in from there as well. Um, I forgot to turn on the, uh, uh check in before the event starts. Yeah, challenge is weird. There's like, uh, there's a lot of settings in there that you want that I would have assumed are default, but not. But you know, after doing it a few times. It all makes sense. Yep. I want to see some soul combo, brother. Uh oh. Some of the swag. Soul swag. Oh, hold on, I gotta show myself on Twitter. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I got you though. All right, let me let me throw that in there. You know, I always hate doing this, but you know, everyone's like, "Oh, you gotta tweet when you're live." I'm like, "Okay." I post it in here. You know. Do the whole gamut. Okay, post thing there. Da -da -da -da. Okay. I got so many different social platforms you have to... Oh, okay. Well, uh, I'm, I'm gonna change the overlay. Uh, this is not the tournament overlay, but this is just the overlay I have on my stream, which is out of season, but it's okay. Uh, <laughs> I didn't change it yet. Uh, let's see. Alright, that, that could be it, right? Yeah, okay. Um, Alright. So, this is the pre-stream anyways. Uh, Are you watching on Twitch? Like, do you, to yourself, sound normal? Like, the music and everything? I use, I use, like, the Guilty Gear soundtrack music so I don't have to worry about, uh, you know. Oh, I see. Well, so you play separately from the actual game. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. I don't want to get hit with that RoboKai theme, you know. <laughs> like, it's happened a uh, few times. You know, there's some. You know, sometimes. Oh. Hold on. I gotta turn that down. Hey, uh, you remember what we were talking about yesterday? Like, oh, what do you go for in the in the corner and everything? Like, mm -hmm. the hand the hands are rusty right now. They're oh, cold, but. You said you, you like to do the. Uh... I do like this. Oh well, if I get my FRC. Hold on. I don't embarrass myself. Yeah, see, and they end up back in the same side. <laughs> it, it's it's really weird. Sometimes yeah. they do, sometimes they don't. Like, it depends on their, uh, their box, too. Yeah, Slayer is like really easy to get it on. You're not getting any feedback from mine, right? When you, because uh, the stream is like playing on my side. Can you hear it? Uh, no, no, that, that's just, uh, that's on you. Oh, okay. I'm streaming from my own end, so, yeah. Yep. Uh, did the, oh, right, let me, okay, so, for example, right, I don't think anyone's, well, some people are here. Hello, everyone who's here, but I'm going to run an ad, okay. but Kenji needs to be turned, okay. I'm well, going to run an ad real quick, but, well, no, I think I can turn you up on my end. Okay. So... Okay, uh, can you try talking real quick? Sure. Koma can help us with the sound check. Testing, testing, one, two. Testing. Can you guys hear? We're going, we're going 25% increase. That's right, what, about, two, bro. what about 30%? Hello? 
hello, hello. Testing, testing. Can you guys hear me? Is it too loud or too low? Uh, I think there's a little delay on the stream. Maybe we'll chime in real quick. It is annoying because in OBS, right? Like it's all the same, but in OBS, when you and I speak, it's the same. Like peak, it's good now. A tad higher would be fine, but better. Oh, okay, coma. Okay, <laughs> I'll hit you up with that thirty-five percent. Nice. Okay, thirty-five. Testing. Can you guys hear me? Is my voice too loud? That's good. Okay, and then I'll bump everything up just a little. Yeah, so I'm gonna run that ad real quick if you don't mind people in stream sure. chat But uh, yeah, so when I click it says like 90 second ad break, right? I click mm -hmm. on this. Okay, I'm doing it now chat. So go get your drinks, but uh See, I'm, I'll, I'll send you a screenshot so you can see like it, it shows me my timer, right? So like uh Once I click that 90 second break, I see this on my man on my stream manager so like, I'll let you know when this is about to run out every every time or so. So. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. We'll just take a break between matches or something. So okay. so that way, when people click on the stream, you know, from browsing, they don't get hit with that pre rolls. Right. With a with a crazy. When, you know, when it's ad. like add one of seven. And it's one like, of seven. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't Dude, want that I to happen, that. people. <laughs> I'll be sitting there for for drip, just kind of. Looking at other, I'll, I'll, it'll make me go to other Twitch channels, right? And that yeah, that, that's the problem. Like, I, I get why they do it. Like, I, I always go, I always tell people, like, from the streamer's perspective of why we have to do it. But, like, uh, mm -hmm. it's like, I don't mind ads, really, if you, like, I'm being told they're going to happen. That's why, like, I try to give my viewers the courtesy of, like, okay, I'm going to take a break so I'm not gonna be here anyways so I'm gonna run this ad like if you want to go get a drink or something now it's time to do it yeah like like I hate when I'm like uh out in public or at work or something and I'm and I uh like pull up something on YouTube on my phone and it's like in the middle of the video like as you're watching like the ad just hits you like at random I'm like oh like like that's super annoying right no that makes that makes perfect sense because like it's better to it's definitely better to have uh, the option that people are watching to you know, not worry yeah. about those big long arrows. It's weird. You know, uh, no one believes me when I tell them this, but if I sit in training mode and practice, like FRCs and combos and stuff, mm -hmm. I can't do it. But a real match, I'm hitting it. Everyone's like, damn, I wish I I'm the opposite way. I wish I was like that. I'm like, I don't know. It feels bad both ways. There's like, there's like, there's like some days where you just hit them consistently, and there's some days where you just, you know, you just keep dropping them. I have those days too. The, the grass is always greener, you know, like. For me, I sit in training mode, I'm like, damn, why can't I do this? But then, in a real match, it just comes out. I, I I always think it's because, like, when I'm playing the match, I'm so focused on, like, playing that, like, my muscle memory takes over. Right. But, like, when I'm in training mode and I'm just sitting here, like, focused on just this, for some reason, I make it worse for myself. Right. Oh yeah, and this was the thing we were talking about, like Exard Soul versus Plus Aura. This was the thing I missed right away. I was like, why? See, when Exard Soul does it, I'm so used to it because it looks mm -hmm. so stupid. But like, I hate that this. Yeah. This, this honestly yeah, makes it, more sense. <laughs> yeah. I mean, and then this. Can, I wonder if he could still cross up though. He could just go over it, right? Slightly. Like if they're in crouch state or something. You have to like really wait. Yeah, see if you do it too fast. But I mean, this is so projected, like, yeah. I don't think anyone is getting hit by this. If I... Yeah. 
Yeah, there's certain, there, there's certain characters. I mean, in those situations, some characters can get... Uh, uh, what about you jumping? Yeah, I, I do jump H, right? Because sometimes they're crouching. Yeah, because it, it has a bigger hitbox underneath, too. So it's hard to actually hear it. Right? Actually, it's, it's, it's too risky to hear it. Right? And with you, uh, ID... But... It's probably better to do the uncross up, honestly. Like, cross back over. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And then what else? Oh, this. This is this is the one that always gets me coming from Exord to plus R. I do this. This isn't real. <laughs> I hate this. I drop my combo. Like I, I hit them empty low and then they block the rest because I'm I dumb. Forgot the, but can you do it on counter hit? Like counter hit, uh, counter hit two K six B. I think that should work too, right? Are you telling me people mash on wake up? No, that's not even a combo. <laughs> like I hate this. <laughs> That is such a good buff for him in that game. Yeah, it's huge. Oh, and that, and then like no air bandit revolver knockdown, like that kind of sucks. I mean, on the other hand, you get bandit revolver loops, which are cool. Mm -hmm. But I really wish you could just bandit revolver knockdown in the air. That'd be nice. Yeah, man. Well, he was more set play heavy in Xrd. Like that's what they made him into. He's like a he's basically a monster. Like, you know, down, but in this one, he just does a ton of damage. But he's like a he's like a. Like, Feels good though. Mm -hmm. Still feels good to play, but man, those small things. Like you wouldn't think they'd be that big. I th I don't think this is a combo either. Uh... No, so it's like sometimes like when you do like something like this and you like throw in the five P to like you know, so like you can fill that five P because like you're not sure if the jump H hits twice or something. Oh, right. I do that. Yeah, so like that's not a combo. Have you got the uh, early jump H and then after the recovery you IED? What do you mean early? So, so, so you do like you do like an early jump H and it hits. Uh, the latter part hits. And then oh, so recovery, like you jump cancel the second hit and like... Yeah, you jump cancel the second hit. Oh, those so are you... hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You, those are the, the soft combos, man. <laughs> those are those hard are... because you have to time your meaty so that it's the second hit. Right, so it's the second hit, and then you IED, so you get like a, like a pseudo fuzzy mix up. Yeah, yeah. I saw someone do it for the first time, and I was like, how did he do that? And I was like, how is that possible? Like, yeah, I mean, cause, I think, cause I thought it was just, I thought he was doing this. Yeah, yeah, I saw it in on um, Mikado stream. I thought he was like doing this, and then IED. I'm like, how is he doing that? I'm like, it's, like I, I asked uh, four or five, I asked Pat, explain this to me. I'm like, how is this possible? He's like, oh, he's timing it so that the only the second hit hits me. Hit, yeah. I was like, oh, that's so smart. Yeah. So you, it's like a regular jump, and then you do you do like an earlier jump H. Yeah, it's so like really hit, early. Yeah. So the second uh, hit connects, and then before recovers or after recovers, you can do IED like super low, and it should be like perfect height. You can even do like jump P S H possibly, or even just. If you really want to be funny, I guess. <laughs> but that's not gonna work. I'm not gonna lie, man. He's still such a cool character in this game, and his jump dust is still fun to use in general. Like, <laughs> his jump dust is ridiculous. Almost getting on my case about Grand Viper. Grand Viper is so weird to me because I feel like I'm mashing for my life, and sometimes I just don't get it. Yeah, I still miss. Yeah, it's just always get that. I don't know. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. There's something satisfying about the Grand Viper in this game. Like, it just feels really good. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, it, it's fun. Like, it's it's it literally just fun to do. Like, you're pressing mad buttons. But I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know if there's like a trick to it that I'm missing or like I'm just not mashing. Doesn't he get an FRC out of his uh, factor? Ground factor? Ground factor? Uh, you mean you mean like the clean hit on this? Yeah. Well, he, also, he, has a, oh, he doesn't have a regular one, does he? Oh, he does. This one's you mean this? Oh, so he doesn't have an FRC. Okay, never mind. Four and six. Oh, yeah, I'm trying to do back and forth, and I do uh, I do KS. Like you can see my inputs on the Twitch stream. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm mashing, you know, like <laughs> you can see it. I don't get it half the time. 
I think it's also like particularly easy on some characters. I don't know if Slayer is one of them. Cause like I was practicing uh I was practicing a meterless uh how would I oh that's not it. Oh I don't have it <laughs> I don't have it bound. Uh like I have a I was practicing a meterless punish for a big bang upper, right? Mm -hmm. And Oh whoops, that's not it. I don't is he in counter hit state? I don't think he's in counter hit state after the initial hit of the big bang upper, right? I'm not sure, but the funny thing was oh I guess we can see. He is. Hmm. So, so yeah. Sweet gunplane? You could do you should be able to do sweet gunplane, right? If oh I yeah, that's what I was thinking, but I was like, oh wait, I'm trying to force myself to play Exard's soul, so I should do this. Oh yeah. Yeah. That's even better. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's even better. I forgot, man, like all the stuff you can do off a uh, counter hit TD. Yes. Uh, hello, FGC Stone. I see hello, you. Stone. I can't see the chat because I'm on the Discord uh, stream. Uh, here, you can pull up the Twitch stream and then just pop out the chat if that makes oh, any yeah, difference. I can do that too. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I was trying to get 2D Mash Grand Viper, but then uh, Pat was like, "Oh wait, you're doing counter hit 2D." I'm like, "Yeah, why?" He's like, "Just do regular Grand Viper." I'm like, oh, "Okay." And I just get clean hit. <laughs> so I, was, I was sitting there for like 30 minutes mashing, like straining my hands, and I could just do this. <laughs> oh, I must TK TK Sidewinder though. That's hard. But yeah. Because I, I was doing this. Oh, well. I was doing this. But like, that's not necessary because you can just do it meterless. Yeah. But in general, though, if you get, get it off uh, like a straight counter 2D into Gunflame with RC, he could get some really hefty damage from that, too. Yeah, that's what I was. Uh, I was telling you yesterday. Like my cash out combo is to do gunplay FRC combos because I don't. I don't really know how else to spend the meter. Oh, I'm dumb. Hold on. Well, because you wouldn't be able to convert the damage, uh, optimal damage without it without that FRC. Like if I'm really like if I know it's gonna kill too. Like oh, I'm bad. Hold on. I know it's gonna kill too. Like I'll just. I just throw in a bunch of these. You can, you I know. think you could do double uh, banner bringer, right? After the uh, TD Gunflame FRC banner bringer, do it again. Uh, so you said you said 2D banner. 2D, bringer? It, no 2D Gunflame FRC banner bringer, and then do another banner bringer. Oh, it has to be counter hit. Oh, it has to be counter. Okay. Yeah, because otherwise he doesn't pop up. Ugh. Nah, I think that's like an Exard thing <laughs> to get two Bandit Bringers. That was such a cool combo too, man. <laughs> both, both just pulling down, like in all versions. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, I'm not like big on playing the protagonist character, but mm -hmm. Soul is cool. Soul is really cool. Yeah. Actually, when I first started playing XX, I used to hate Soul because I I just used to lose the Soul all the time, right? I just felt like he was such a screwy character, and then. <laughs> When I actually got started learning the game more and started playing, uh, he was actually using it. I was like, dude, I missed the light a long time ago, man. Full of that ass. He's too much fun. Like, yeah, he's, he's way too there's much. a reason he's popular, you know? Like, yeah. So I recommend people that actually hate Full give him a shot, like try and train him and just understand why people enjoy playing him. He's See, really that's cool. the problem about Soul, though, is like everyone gets, if you're new to the game, everyone gets really tired of losing to him because there's a lot of them. So, like, at once once you get to like the mid or high level, like, everyone knows this matchup. Yeah. Oh, that, that's the other problem about playing Soul. I know, he, he's very flexible, right? Like, he's very freestyle and neutral. You can kind of, like, have more creative options than just more characters because he has really good reason. Yeah, that's what allows that's what allows the Kasuru attack to work. Oh like, yeah. Kasuru. Yeah, like there's yeah, just uh, so many possible things that can happen at any given moment. <laughs> like, mm -hmm. like no no one's no no one's expecting the 2D 
through the RC while throw, and then especially not twice. Like, I'm not even that fast at it. I have to do it twice. Right, I'm gonna just double check the, the seconds for the tournament real quick. Make sure everyone's in. Okay, I think I'll use that as an opportunity to actually go pour my cup of coffee. Okay. So, I'll hit you with that away panel and I'll be right back. Look at that. Look at this production quality. Let me, let me check it out. It's still snowing though because I haven't changed my holiday overlays yet. <laughs> But, okay, I'll be right back. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Up coin dog. Okay, seems like almost everyone's here. Okay. Uh, okay. You're back. I actually have coffee. I forgot I left it on. Hopefully it didn't burn, but it'll be fine. You need coffee, man, in your life. You need coffee. Actually, I'm on my second cup already, and I just woke up like an hour and a half ago. I've been playing too much Cyberpunk <laughs> this past week. It's so good. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of the curse, right? Because, like, this whole time we didn't have plus R rollback. All I had to play was Exard. And I was getting mm -hmm. super burnt out of Exard because there was just no other good games for me to play. Right. But then now that plus R is here, like, 2020 was a good year for games. I'm yeah. not going to go, I, I, you know, like, it's yeah, been a long time since I've had so many games to play. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, 2020 was, you know, we, I won't go into it, but it, it's been... You know, yeah, kind of, kind of, kind of. <laughs> that, that's why. That's why I yeah. qualified the statement with "It's been a good year for games." Like, yeah, for sure. For I sure. like. Uh, I've been on that Hades grind. Been on yeah. that Hades grind. Every, everyone in in our scene has been on that Hades grind. Like, man. I like, have we run, we run the weekly, and then we're like, okay, thank God that's over. Now we can all play Hades. Dude, I still haven't had uh, got a chance to play Hades, but I bought it like last month. But I just been so busy with the uh, uh, plus star rollback, just playing with a bunch of people. I didn't have time to go back to Hades or even try to boot it up. So I'm gonna make sure to do that at some point. Uh, I'm telling you, like, I'm always really wary about like whenever something becomes overrated or not. I shouldn't say overrated, but like whenever whenever a bunch of people like nothing but nonstop praise for something, it makes me like want to consume it even less. Like. Uh, but especially, especially in the case, like I tend to dodge bullets when I avoid really popular things because the popular thing ends up like souring somehow. Like my example is always Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. Like 
The entire time Game of Thrones was airing, people were like, this is the best thing ever. Oh, you should watch this. You'll love it. I'm like, oh, okay, maybe one day. But then, you yeah. know, people kept telling me over and over, and it makes me not want to do it for some reason. No, I'm, and then I'm kind of I, apparently I dodged a bullet there because apparently it ended pretty poorly. I mean, to be honest, I mean, to, to give, you know, I would still give it a fair chance. Like, the first four seasons were absolutely amazing. Like, it's probably some of the best TV for sure. But the last few seasons were kind of like lackluster, right? Because they had, it wasn't uh, close to books at all, like the source material. So they had to create, like, their own kind of... <laughs> Yeah, my my friend who like is a big fan of the books before there was ever a series, he was like, basically it gets bad once they ran out of the original material. Mm -hmm. But to be fair, I would still watch the first four seasons because it's, it's really good acting, like really good, very classic, you know, diverse characters and really good acting too. Like some of the fight scenes were pretty badass. They were really good. But uh, well, yeah, go. On. To, to turn it back to the original thing, I was like super, super wary of like Hades can't be that good, but, but you know, I there, not only was it really popular recommendation, it was popular amongst a group of people I actually trust. So I was like, you know, it's twenty bucks, I'll give it a try. But man, Hades, that shit do be hidden though. Like it's fun. Like I don't even like those kind of games, and like I'm not even big on super giant games because I thought Bastion was okay. It wasn't my thing. Like I know a lot of people really like Bastion. I thought it was okay, it and like I like I like Transistor. But then apparently everyone was like, "Oh, I don't like Transistor." So I'm like, "Huh? Maybe I'm the weird one." But then you know, Hades was the tiebreaker for me, and Hades is probably their best game. Yeah, I think uh, super giant games in terms of quality, like their games. It's always polished, right? And it always feels good when you play them, uh, regardless if it's Transistor or Bastion. And the music is really good too, like the soundtrack of those things are that cool. Yeah. I haven't even played uh, Bastion or Transistor, but I still have the, the soundtrack. I think for me, it was just I really like Transistor's uh, like world building and aesthetic. Yeah, see, you see, this is what I mean. Like, you see, chat transistor. I really liked it. Transistor is sort of weird. I'm like, oh, <laughs> like, 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 it's it's, it's pretty divisive against which games you like. But I, but I feel like the majority is people liked Bastion and didn't like Transistor. But yeah. I I didn't like Bastion, but I like Transistor. So you know, like, I was kind of worried about um, like the last. I think Last of Us Two was a big one for me, right? Because like. I love the first Last of Us, and then there's this whole entire, like, hate thread about, oh, the team sucks, the narrative sucks, but to me, I thought the game was good, right? Like, I don't know if the narrative was strong as the first game, but the gameplay itself was really fun. Like, I really enjoyed the stealth and the combat. It felt really good. I don't, I've never owned, after uh, the PS3, so I built my first gaming PC in, like, 2007 or something. Mm -hmm. And ever since then, I've never had a console, so I never played The Last of Us 1, so I don't even know, you know, I don't know what it was like for the fans, but uh, yeah. I know a lot of people, like, really like that game, but I, I literally don't know anything about it. Yeah. Well, same thing with Cyberpunk, too, like, there's so much hate towards it because of, oh, well, aside from, like, the, you know, the development issues, right, with the, the crunch and the overtime and working people to death, um, it's a work of art. Like, you can tell the amount of blood, sweat, and tears that went into the game, and you can actually sense that, like visually, uh, the sound, like the gameplay. Aside from the minor glitches, but I finally got a PC, so you know. It, it See, runs, I, I I feel very uh, divisive or about uh, Cyberpunk because I'm a I was a big CDPR fan, like right before they even went mainstream. I was playing Witcher One, Witcher Two, Witcher Three. And, and the thing is, just, you know, from a rational standpoint, right, like, mm -hmm. Cyberpunk has been in development since before Witcher 3 went in development, right? So, like, yeah. like, like if you got the deluxe copy of Witcher 2, it had the Cyberpunk trailer on it. So, it's like, oh. oh. Man, Witcher, since Witcher 2? Yeah, it was in development since Witcher 2. So, oh it proceeds, <laughs> yeah, it was before Witcher 3. So, what does that mean? That game has gone through two different console generations during its development. So it's like, oh, interesting. yeah, it's like, of course there was problems, you know, like anyone should have seen that coming from a mile away, but Cyberpunk was so, so, so hyped that like, oh, we can't not release it on the last gen consoles now. Yeah. 
Because, well, you know, we've a... been promising this whole time that the game is going to come out. We delay, we delay, de we delay, and it's like, oh, well, you know, you know we have very, to get it out. This is very similar to uh, Red Dead Redemption 1, because uh, I used to work at uh, Braxis, and I used to get, like, news about, uh, like, Red Dead and stuff, right? The development and stuff. And then um, I talked to an artist that used to work on the game. She said that uh, it, they went through four, I, I believe it's six development cycles where they had to like trash the, uh, the the gameplay, the core gameplay, and then build it back up like six times. And they spent like seven years or I don't know how long it took them to get the first one done. But yeah, but it still had glitches. Like <laughs> shit tons of glitches in the game. Yeah, it's like as big as these games are, like, you know, the whole trend with open world sandbox games, like, mm -hmm. it's impossible to ever QA test everything. There's no way you're you're not going to get these bugs out. But but the big problem with Cyberpunk was, at least for the the last gen consoles, is they just don't even run well. Like that, mm -hmm. like they should have known that, like, oh, of course the game has to, like, dynamically load in textures. And so there's going to be pop in, like, we expect that. But, like, I don't know, seeing those day one like uh like ps4 like base ps4 cyberpunk like the city like it, it's just it's like this they must have known this was gonna happen you know yeah but yeah that's i give them what, what's the word i give them a pass because it's like you have to remember cyberpunk has been in development since before witcher 3 and witcher 3 came out <laughs> like witcher 3 came out five years ago so Oh, well, six years ago, not technically. So, yeah, they, they went through multiple cycles. Like, there's probably a lot of, uh... Like, think about how much stuff was retained in there since the first time, right? Like, they had the original idea, but the game keeps evolving during development. But, like, how do you take out what we started with? Introduce new things? Like, the game just gets so jumbled because... The development project, obviously, is like, you know, it's not just one person. Okay. So, I just got a notification from Jane. Uh, he said that his internet's having some issues, it has completely died, so um, he said, you know, if it doesn't work by the time this is matched up, we could just uh, do him into Ruby until his internet comes back up. So. Well, I guess it depends on how you want to run the bracket, right? Because, uh, like, when we do the weeklies, since we stream everything, I could have made him go last, but I know you wanted to, like, have everything going concurrently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, I heard I mean, they were uh, crunching. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, Kenji. Oh, it's okay. Uh, so, yeah, we're going to be starting here in a minute. I'm looking at the brackets right now. I'm going to refresh this page real quick. Yeah, so, uh, then it's, uh, in Dark's match won't start until a little later, so, yeah, it takes some time to get his internet working. Yeah. Good thing I'm not playing today. Oh yeah, so, Trim, uh, just to, just to, uh, let you guys know, uh, Okran is going to be, uh, Okoma entered the tournament, and he didn't know if he was going to be able to, like, if he were to win or not. I, if he were to win, he was going to opt out, because he doesn't know if he's going to make it to February, but uh, he's going to be using Okran to handle it. He logged out of Chalon, and they didn't let him sign back in. So, it's a little heads up. I'm cheering for Okran's in the bracket anyways. Yep. So, you know, Okran's gonna kill it. I can feel it. Go Okran. Um... Alright, it's, it's 3 o'clock. Let's go ahead and get the lobby started. Okay. Uh... Right, so you want everyone... Or you want to pick particular matches to stream though, right? So we're gonna be inviting... Uh, yeah, so we could... The first match we could do, we could just go right off the bat. We could do Sleepy Bed and uh, Risser. I thought you said his uh, internet was whatever. Oh no, that's uh, Zang. Oh, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Let me... So we could get Sticky Ben and Vizier uh, into the match. Let me go ahead and ping those guys. All right. They know how to. The guys who have been at the weeklies, they know what the password is. 
But in case they don't, I'll post in there. Should I should I post the link in the in the Discord? Sure. I mean, okay. Where where would that go? Stream? Oh, stream matches. Yeah. So what's the what's the lobby ID? It's no, there that, we go. Okay. That one and the password. Password is pss, pss, pss. There you go. Right. Let me see the bracket. See, we can go start playing. So we can go ahead and uh, everyone. We can go ahead and start getting the matches going for the other guys. So we got oh. HUD plot. Oh wait, I have to. I have to boot up my overlay. Hold on, I forgot. Oh, we got the sponsors <laughs> up though. It's okay. But I mean, I need the I need the tournament overlay thing. Okay. Don't worry. The sponsors are always ready. Uh, where do I put the? All right, here it is. Hold okay. up. Ho hopefully the lobby is okay. Alright, we got uh ASB Magnum Opera. What does that fit? Let's see. Who is Sham God? <laughs> I'm trying to find him on the in the uh, bracket matchmaking. We're in general. Let me see. Just for you. Oh god, Sham God. Alright. Okay, did you see the overlay up on stream? Looks good. TSB Magnum Opera just barely fits, but you know, that'll do. Also, please say thank you to our sponsors up on screen. Okay, you wanna know what? Uh, can, can we stall for... Actually, no. Hmm. Okay, well... I'll probably run the ad next okay. match. Unless you wanna stall for like, three minutes. Nah, let, let, I'll, I'll let them play. I'll tell them whenever they're ready. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so whenever Okram, or sorry, not Okram, Azir, and CP Baby. All right, so just give them the green light when you're ready to go. Me? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, when they're in the lobby. I'm I'm gonna try and do the spectator mode thing. Hopefully, it doesn't have a problem. Then. Okay. All right. Oh, wait. The mix-up is whether or not we actually get to see them play. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything. One time it got all the way to round start and then crashed. So. Okay. Are we are we gonna get it? Looks like we made it. Okay, cool. Tournament has officially started. Okay, I don't know if you ever seen these two play, but uh Ben just started playing Venom and then Rizzer has been on that justice grind since the beginning. Uh I think these two actually played in the weekly the other day. I don't really uh I think me and Como were talking about, you know, we were kind of debating who actually dictates the pace of neutral in this matchup. I, I can't say for sure, but, uh, you know, I have a tendency to notice new players let Justice really walk them down, and, uh, that's no good. <laughs> yeah. If you, if you let Justice beat in on you, it's pretty much in, uh, in her favor uh, at that point. So you gotta... Find ways to keep her push back and still do some, uh, you know, neutral, like, pushing, projectile game to push yourself forward a little by little. But yeah, once Jessica gets, gets in on you, it's pretty tough. She has a lot of good tools once she's, uh, close in. Yeah, so the first time I played uh, against Justice was actually Rizzer myself. And, mm -hmm. uh, I didn't know anything about this character, right? Because she wasn't an Exard obviously and I'm an Exard baby and uh I saw the big the big swords I thought like the little laser effect was the hitbox like you see that so I just kept blocking I'm like man how is soul supposed to get in and then you know Oma and 405 were telling me this character is like the knowledge check character you know yeah so so I had to look her up and everything I'm like oh she can't even she can't even air dash like like, I'm not going to let her walk me down, like... <laughs> she, she has to set up her projectiles, she's huge, she can't air dash, like, you know? Once I realized that, I was like, oh, I'm not going to let her get away with this anymore. And then, you know, that was fun. Yeah. Can't, can't let Justice start. She has tons of uh, really good 
um, well, she, she's really good at controlling air and ground control, right? Like she has all the tools to kind of keep people in check from a long range. But close, man, she has um, around mid range, like sweep range area. Like she has really good uh, normals and uh, specials like Michael Blade to keep people out and keep them in check. Yeah, I feel like if there's any character that can, you know, pretty much compete with the projectiles, it's probably Venom. But I mean, these nukes eat up three hits, so I don't know how Venom has a ball with three hits. He'd have, he's not going to get away with that. Alright, so I'm going to run, the, I'm going to check in the brackets with the players real quick, so I'm going to be uh, with Caleb for a second. Okay, well, okay stream, well, together we can witness. Oh, well, that happened pretty fast, but... Together we can witness projectile zoning wars. Just kidding, you saw round start counter. I don't I don't know why he does that. I wish he didn't, but you know. It's the round start RPS, I guess. Yeah, see like people see Venom and they think he's you know, oh he's his owner, he must be because he's setting up projectiles, but nah man, you let Venom get started, he's gonna rush you down, so I honestly think Venom probably doesn't hate this matchup if he gets in, because I mean, like, what is Justice gonna do about Venom? But if you let Justice get started like this, then, well, it's no fun. Okay, it seems like there's some uh, some people didn't check in, so uh, we'll have Gumi and Bing advance along with, uh, I think Cam is here, right? I think Cam is here. Okay, that was 2-0 for Rizzer. I didn't update the overlay, but... Yeah, there's going to be a lot of uh, DQs here because there's uh, no-shows for a few people already. Go ahead in there. But let's okay. try to see if Pac, uh, we can get the match with uh, a Pat and uh, Ugly God. See if he's in the chat. Okay, Um. well, while we wait, I'm going to run that ad stream, so... We're gonna take a quick break while that gets sorted out so we don't get hit with those pre-rolls. Please okay. excuse me. 90 seconds. Hey, who is so... Do we see her one more? Oh, yeah. And we have a ETA 45 seconds, but we have to wait for the other guy anyways. Oh, in challenge? How do you move the players? <laughs> I forgot the uh, option. Uh, I don't exactly. actually know. Like, challenge is weird. I, I don't, I, it might be different because your bracket is set up differently the ways I have mine. Oh, you know what happened? Holy. Oh shit. Yeah, I was about to say, you know what it was? When you didn't check in and then you started the tournament, um... It changed a lot of the... Yeah, uh, on my page, like, it's just... It's only four people. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hold on, let me change the settings. Sorry, uh, we're gonna take a sec here to get the settings here, uh, switched up here real quick. I think what happened was you might have clicked confirm. And then everyone thought the check-in was in the Discord and it didn't require you to ch check in on challenge. So then it automatically uh, booted everyone who wasn't in it. So. Oh my god, <laughs> this is not, this is not good. Um... Okay, well we can uh, we can definitely stall for time, and I hate that I would suggest this to be a solution, but uh, we could remake the bracket really okay. quick and then just post the results somewhere else so where's the um hmm. how do we set the 
очень специальный сервер. Oh my gosh. This is such a disaster. Challenge is so weird. Um Yeah, uh Can you roll back the uh the the start of the tournament? Uh, I'm going through the tournament settings right now. Okay. Alright, stream, you know how it is. Sometimes we stall for time. What what would it be without some technical difficulties, right? Yeah, okay, at least you get to watch from the comfort of your own home. At least we're big chilling. Yep. Sorry okay. about this, guys. Yeah. Um. So we, <laughs> I just turned on the option for check-ins, like uh, right before a tournament starts. But I was going to do the check-ins in through the Discord. But when I started the tournament, the people that didn't check in got opted out. So the ones that did check in uh, are still in the brackets. So. Okay. Ad has suggested maybe we can play Hades while we wait. I mean, I'm not against that idea, but <laughs> we'll just sit here and wait. We can discuss Hades. Like, you, you'd you be surprised how much uh, depth there is to the conversation of Hades. Like, everyone we talk to about it has a different opinion of, like, what's good, what works, what what oh, mirror man. abilities you should take. You know, it's a good game. It's a well-designed game. So, I, is there any... So, when you do this, is there any way to roll back this situation i i don't know that that's what i would i would assume there is but i don't i've never had to do it so okay so you can i guess i can export the participants download this i'm just i think i could remake the bracket under my own challenge and then yeah could you do that if everyone else oh wait hold on you can export it so maybe i can just import it Let's see. We can make one yeah, real quick. Yeah, I got the CSV, so I'm gonna download it. All right. Impromptu. All right. Guilty gear. Uh, double elimination. Let me go ahead and import this information for you then. Sorry for the little um, technical problems right now, guys. You um, you have like an exported list of participants, right? Like like yeah, an XML dude. file or something. Yeah, it's a CSV file. Okay, can you send that to me? Hopefully this works. Yeah, I'm gonna log in and send it to you. I just hopefully we can just upload the participants. So. I think I gotta do this one piece. Oh. Alright, well while we wait, I'm reminded I can do my dailies and my gotcha game. You know, maybe you can do that chat. Maybe you got some dailies for your MOBA game you got going on. Maybe you can do a quick Hades run. But, uh, you know, I see you all in here. We have 25 minutes of no ads. We're trying to, you know, start a conversation here. You know, let me show you. I got those loyalty badges in just recently. The three-month loyalty badge. Eh, let me see. I've done that. <laughs> I should yeah, just not is. say, please check in. Do you want to just manually add everyone in? Because <laughs> we can just, if everyone who's checked in, 
you know wait or or i can just make it a sign up page and then everyone who's actually here can just click on it and sign up yeah i mean if you want to do it that way uh, that could be fine but i'm just having issues because uh i'm running this on my ipad the brackets it doesn't oh, okay. seem to cooperate really well with downloading certain things so. okay we're just gonna fix this real quick i think this will be the easiest way to just get everything going Okay, this, this is what we'll do. And you know what? Oma should be able to actually enter. Okay, I, I'm just gonna post it in the check-ins channel. Yeah, I'm really sorry about this, guys. This is like a dumb setting is dumb. Yeah, okay. There's Coma. I can see him now. So everyone, All right, let me ping everyone again. Can you send them uh, a link to get back into the brackets? Yeah, yeah. I posted in the check-ins. So I guess this is a, I guess another opportunity for people that didn't get a chance to uh, enter into the bracket. Oh, and then I can because because the tournament hasn't started yet, I can manually move people around like you wanted. So. Okay. Yeah. So I seated um, uh, Jin, uh, Koma, Vicky. Oh, it's updating. Okay, I'll let I'll get I'll let everyone uh, hop in there first, and then I'll I'll move the matches around. Got a one, two, five, six, eight. We have eight people in here so far. Okay. Yeah, because I think there was few people that is a no-show too. I believe. I don't know. I don't want to ping a ping a third time, but for everyone who's here, maybe you're in Twitch chat and you're participating. Okay, so the one that you posted in the check-ins, did you? Is that the new link? Yeah, yeah, I, I put it in the check-ins with the everyone tag. I'm just, I don't know if this was everyone though, because right now we have nine. We have nine people. But I think before the event started, we were up to like 14. Yeah, there was 14, but there was also uh, a few no-shows. So this might be closer. And if it's uh, small enough, we could probably stream all the matches then at this point. Okay, well, the bracket will have to change then because, uh... Okay. And is, uh, Jin, uh, Jin's in there too, right? Yeah, I see Jin. I see. Okay, so the list so far is Jin, Gumi, Bugplot, Rizzer, Coma. Uh, I'm assuming that's got Prime, okay. Paragot, Sleepy Ben, Vicky Viper, and Starks. Okay, I think that's everyone that's uh, in the tournament because I think there was a few uh, people with no show the check in list too. So, like the Sh Sham God guy wasn't in there, um, he couldn't make it. I mean, Hama. Hama. Hama's in here saying. Oh, is he in there? Because I, I thought he didn't uh, check in earlier. Okay, yeah, let's put the. Uh, if Hama's uh, in the chat and he wants to join in, he could also do that, participate right now.
Well, if anything, we can see it as if you wanted to play and weren't sure, you can get in right now. Yeah, this is like super last chance mood <laughs> to go ahead super and super last chance. Like literally minutes. <laughs> Yeah, I really apologize for that, guys. That's uh, in the that were in the brackets. Um, yeah, the setting and challenge. Uh, I just did it right before, like around like two fifty or something. I just turn on the, the checking things, and then the people that didn't check in, they just automatically automatically got booted. But... Okay, well, I'm gonna move around the matches so that it um, was, because I know. At the very least, Rizzer and Ben played, so I got to move those. Okay, it seems and like then... Zing is also having uh, internet issues right now. And then uh, Alma and Jin moved up. I think this is what it was. challenge is not responding but it's okay we're stalling for time well just how about we'll give another uh five minutes or ten minutes and then we can go ahead and restart um so we'll get any other people that is interested or trying to get you know uh, zing's internet back up uh we could go ahead and do that Yeah, I'm just gonna work on the bracket real quick. So we know R Rizzer and the uh, Vizier, I think, and um, Sleepy Ben played. Who won that set? Uh, I mean, Rizzer. they could just re I, they could restart. They should just restart their uh, match. Ben, if we're just gonna restart the full bracket. But I mean, if they wanna play it's again, it's up to them. <laughs> it's up to them. Let me go ahead and ask them. I'm just gonna see the bracket the way I think makes the most sense. Sure. And then mm -hmm. hopefully it plays out mostly the same way. So I'll let them decide if they want to replay their matches. Okay, Ben's like, just keep it. Okay. So we can go ahead and move the winner of uh, Zir and uh, CB Ben. Okay. So we'll move him up in the bracket and we'll move on to the next player after, after that. Yeah, I'm just trying to move it right now. Okay, I think the bracket looks the way I want it to look. Okay, so Zing is going to withdraw from the bracket. Okay, well, well, I'm gonna give them that, that like two minutes of padding time. And then uh, the bracket is set up the way I think it should look, though. I think this is how it was. Okay. So, you know, five minutes, two, two minutes, and then we'll get started again. But, I mean, if you refresh your bracket right now, I think that's the way it was. I think this is the way it would have looked. I apologize once again if I, if, we, if this was offline and um, I was there with you guys. I'll make you guys a, a fresh pot of coffee for every each and every one of you. I'm saying we gotta bring <laughs> back some uh, we gotta bring back the pen the pen and paper bracket. Yeah, pen and paper. It's so much easier. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take you. I'll take you guys to Dairy Queen. We'll all have some uh, Sundays.
on a page. Right? Yeah, Freckin looks pretty good. I mean, it's pretty, uh, it's good. Yeah, I'm just, okay, I know for some reason when I type, I always seem angrier than I actually am. So if you're, if you're hearing this and seeing what I'm typing in the discord, <laughs> I'm just saying, just, just get in now so I can edit it before we start it and it will be fine. If for some reason you cannot play when your match starts, then I can DQ you then. For now, if you want to play, just get in the bracket. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you like two minutes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, this could have been inconvenient in person, but at least it's inconvenient at the comfort of your own home. So, it's not so bad. A little okay, extra I, time to warm up and mentally prepare. Make tea, make all tea, that good stuff. Alright, okay. I see, I see you guys signed in. I'm gonna edit the bracket one last time, and then I'm just gonna start it. Okay. And we could go ahead and move uh, since Sleepy Ben, uh, and Vizier, uh, you're okay with keeping the same results, we can go ahead and move Azir up into the Wrath 2. And he'll be facing Netcoma. Yeah, um... You refresh the bracket right now. I think this is how I'm going to keep it, if that's okay with you. Because if you're good with it, I'm just going to start it. Um, I'm good with it, yeah. Okay, I'm starting. Okay, yeah. guys, refresh your page right now. I'm gonna start that tournament, and then I'm gonna move Rizzer up once the tournament starts. Okay. Okay, starting. I'm gonna give Rizzer a two zero. Okay, we should be back on track. All right. Okay, who? What next match do you want to try? Let's do uh, Vicky and uh, Zane. Okay, Unless but... Zane is having issues right now. Okay, if you want to just try and figure it out right away. Yeah, let's try to get Vicky and either Vicky in and Zane to stream, or we could do Hama and Terragor. I mean, we could just go ahead and play any of these, uh, pretty much, because the bracket's small enough, we could probably stream all the matches. I mean, yeah, if you want to do that, we can just do all the winners bracket, at least. Yeah, let's, let's just do that. Let's just go through uh, Starks then. We'll do Starks. Okay, yeah, we'll just do top to bottom in winners. Oh, all right, what is that? P21? What? what? P21, P2 I mean. Oh, yeah, okay, it's Prime. Prime. Prime? Is that what the two stands for? Is an all? <laughs> I, I thought. I, I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I can't, I can't do gamer speak. The gamer language. I'm trying to read it. Okay, Starks. E two one M E. Okay, I'm updating the overlay. Uh, copy link.
Yeah. So Vicky, uh, you can take your break. Uh, we're gonna go through the winner's bracket from top to bottom. So uh, this will give uh, players um, a good kind of like skill when, when they're gonna go up. All right. All right. So, you know, a good thing we used up that ad time. We figured it out. We adapt. Yeah, you know what? You see, even when you're not playing fighting games, life is a fighting game. We got thrown into a sticky situation and we adapted. That's right. To get, and now, now we've adapted and we can rise. And we can improve for next time we do this event tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Apologize, you guys. Like, for real. I feel really bad about that. That was a dumb. That was my fault. But this is my first time uh, using challenge, and I had no idea this can do that. Or how, okay. I don't even know how to revert um, the bracket thing. We must, we must accept our past so we can embrace the future. Okay, I'm going spectator mode. I'm ready whenever you guys are. Okay, we're back on. Cool. Oh damn, we got another venom player. Okay, well, Starks is on the oh. on G grind recently. Yeah. Got some Anji action going on. Yeah, I don't know much about this character to be honest with you. I heard Anji players. I heard they're gorillas. I heard they eat glue. They just uh, kind of do. Fujin. Gorilla? He's he's gorilla only when he. It's not. It's not. He's not entirely gorilla. You, you gotta actually be conscious about what you're staying the opponent doing in order to do it properly. It's, it's, it doesn't look like he's doing like heavy. Uh, Analyzing or thinking, but there's a lot going on. So, the player has to, you know, be aware of. A lot of guards are really good. Um, see, like we're used to seeing a character like Venom really dictate the pace of the match, you know, because you know mm -hmm. you're, you're navigating through his buttons and his and his uh, projectiles. But do you think that applies to Anji with Fujin? So the purpose of Fujin is basically like a four D two, right? It has involved frames on startup, and it can, you know, it's basically a whip punisher. So it can go through like a very long active frame move, and uh, he also has really big normal to kind of play a, a decent zoning game. Uh, and really good frames, like his buttons are really strong. Like his day is uh, pretty good, uh, 5P, and it has uh, like a lot of uh, hit stops so, or hit stun. So you can actually do some really cool stuff with that. Not a big oh, there it is. Starks had the whiff punish on 2D at that time. I was, I was about to criticize him for missing it the first time, but he got it the second time. But yeah, uh, as you were saying, the, the forward moving DP got, got him the round last time, so... Yeah. That, Venom does have to watch out, I guess. Yeah, Venom has to watch out, especially during block chain, right? So the Anji player that's playing very defensive is trying to find an opening. And when you find, like, you know, instant block, a certain screen, or a move with a lot of startup screen, you can boost into it. And uh, we're punished that normal or special move. So does Venom 2D do pretty well versus Fujin though? Because it goes pretty it, low and hits twice. Does. It actually does. But you gotta do it like after the startup of the Fujin. So you gotta be kind of uh, the hard slash Fujin in particular. Oof. Okay. Like Kai's 2D is really good against Fujin. Yeah, Very I'm saying active. that as a soul player because I feel like soul 2D kind of wins, and you know Venom 2D gets pretty low to the ground too. So, mm -hmm. all right, Starks takes that first round. The... So I, I noticed Prime was doing a lot of um, playing very aggressive, but Starks is also uh, after Fujin, right? He does hard slash Fujin, and Prime goes in with balls uh, set up and going forward, like slow moving ones. But if the uh, hard slash Fujin's already started, he does the follow up rim. It'll eat through the projectiles at least two hits, and then be able to um, do the auto block follow up. Follow up. Oh, nice jumpy! Interrupted his uh, air freight. Oh, it jumped into the butterfly though. That's funny that the butterfly takes the first hit and still goes up for the second. Yeah. You can see that so the butterfly is actually really good for kind of like uh, controlling ground a little bit, right? And uh, potentially colliding with another projectile or hitting a, a normal, or clipping a normal. And then the follow-up also controls the air on the way up, so Anji has a lot of good uh, spin control with that special one. 
You know, I was, if I'm being honest with you, I was gonna say maybe it's a little bit of un matchup unfamiliarity on both it players' really parts is. a little, but mm -hmm. then, uh, but then I saw a Bari Red Hail and, uh, you know, I'm just saying maybe maybe we're just throwing things out there, see what works, because that poke got killed by Fujin, but then previously it won, so. Right. Fujin is a very good move. Very good. Oh boy. Well, if you can go put the character back into the corner, this is a really good position for Prime. Oh, he got the the stomp super. That's a really good punish, too. That's a really, really good punish. We're doing a Bari super out here, I believe. Yeah, that has to be punishable. Yeah. Venom 2D always doing work. Venom 2D in particular is a very good normal in this matchup. It, because uh, it just interrupts a lot of... Uh, on these like uh forward momentum, especially with preaching. Yeah, I feel like oh oh Venom TD. <laughs> I feel Man, like that TD uh, is incredibly incredibly good. <laughs> it's so low profile. You see the way these two are kinda of navigating neutral, I feel like both players don't really know what they want to do in their approach. But, yeah, um, you, you kinda of, kinda of see that they're kind of familiar with the matchup. But um but it seems like it, it works in Stark's favor. Uh, he was playing very aggressive, uh, finding openings to the air, and but was catching Prime uh, as he was jumping in. That he was throwing a, like a like a far S or like a projectile. Uh, but Venom can actually interrupt a lot of stuff with his six uh, P against uh, Anji's jump ins. Venom six P. We know that legendary button when we see it. Yep. It's only it's only single hit though, right? But is it just like so active? I actually no, I don't know. You, you're telling me good. Venom Six P is good against Fujin? Or... No, not Fujin. Any, yeah, any I was about kind to say. Like anti -air. No, 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 not. Yeah, Fujin. yeah I, was, I was about to say. I'm like, I don't see. For, what Venom's probably be. best answer for Fujin is probably Two uh, D. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because it could go under. Uh, well, it'll definitely stuff the initial startup with the hard slash Fujin, right? Because it's just so active. And then also, if he goes up, uh, follows up with Rin, the hard slash, he can go under that too, or the force break version. So it's a really good normal. But yeah, like you said earlier, it's a mashup knowledge thing. So it, Prime was not aware of like, you know, what to look out for. Yeah. And he could definitely get caught uh, in more pressure. So. Yeah, I think Anji is one of those weird characters where it's when you're first playing him, uh, it can be frustrating. Yeah, definitely, definitely frustrating because especially when you get caught up in the uh, butterfly pressure and you're not used to uh, handling a situation, it can be pretty messy quickly, right? Uh, yeah, it's weird because out. um, I, I was gonna say uh, oh yeah, Kenji, can you pin the lobby link real quick in the stream matches channel? Sure. Um, I'm gonna sure, post sure. this. I'm gonna post this for you real quick. Then can you pin that message so people can just click on the the pin? Oh yeah. Yep. Okay. Thanks. Okay. And uh, going back to what I was saying, I was saying like it's weird because uh, Anji is one of those characters who, when you're first starting out, it's frustrating because you don't know what you're dealing with with the auto guard. And then probably when you're at like that like slight beginner to middling hump, it's like, oh, I know what Anji does. And each each uh, answer has a cut and dry, you know, rock, paper, scissors interaction. It does. Yeah, but it becomes then, more like RPS. Yeah, and then and then after you ascend from the middle to the like the advanced scale, it's now both players know both of his options and they both know both of his counters. So now it becomes like, you know, mind games of like, yeah, this this Fujin S is unsafe. But how much am I gonna delay it? You know, like. <laughs> right. Yeah, it's one of those those interesting matchups in fighting it's, games. Yeah, it's basically like just getting in the habit of not after Fujin, and you block it. You just have to kind of respect that situation and just wait for what he's gonna do, um, because he does have like slash. It'll catch people jumping out, right? And it's a low. Um, but if he does the P, which is like the, he throws all the projectile, where he throws all the fans. Like, that's really good too, but that can be punished. You can super jump, react, and hit him out of it. Um, and also with Rin. So, once you get used to seeing those, like being familiar with those situations, it helps kind of eliminate your options into something more simplified and more effective. 
So you just gotta be, you just gotta respect it if you block the Gugin, just, just be patient. Okay, we got Axel versus Order Soul. Alright, let me tell you, I play Hama a lot, I know his Order Soul. Order Soul is definitely a silverback character, you have to contain him, you have to become the Zookeeper, and I don't think... As, as far as characters go in Guilty Gear, quite possibly one of the best Zookeepers is Axel. Yeah. So, you know, could be an interesting matchup. Hama's gonna have to find a way to get in, but you know, when he does get in... Yeah, this is gonna happen. Look at that damage. Yeah, now, you, now you've yeah. let him out of his jail. You've let him out of the cage. The silver back is pounding his chest. What are you gonna do? You can't let him start. So once the Holy Order starts the uh, pressure and gets in, it's pretty much yeah. in favor, right? You gotta respect all the pressure and uh, saving tension for what was weak and helpful a lot to do. Just to get some air. Push him out and uh, try to recalibrate with the situation. It's right as I said it. I said, you know, if Hama gets in, He's gonna explode, and you know that last round, perfect example. Nice, nice call out with that uh, standing buddy from Hannah. Oh, soul jump normals versus Axel. <laughs> soul jump, yeah, soul jump normals are ridiculous in this game, especially jump eight. Like, you know, you don't want to contest trying to go for air throws against that button, man. You're definitely gonna eat that that muscular bicep. Yeah, see, this is it's one of those uh, funny like things you notice when you're no longer in that beginner level in Guilt Gear is how like quickly one missed uh, like overcommitment gets you cornered, you know? Mm -hmm. See, like Axel got cornered there even though he was controlling mid screen, and then he escaped, and then he almost got pushed all the way back to the other corner. <laughs> so, yeah, he, you can't be letting that happen. This is a uh, playing order against order soul is definitely a good test of defense, right? On the opposing players, and like you have to kind of just get used to blocking his pressure stream, getting used to the startup of the animations of like uh, Venom Revolver and all that stuff. Gun Blaze, you know? It's scary, man, because Venom Revolver first hit overhead, like, man, he's just gonna throw it out there sometimes. Oh, oh, okay, just pull out the Faust, okay. Now this is a this is a good matchup for Faust. Yeah, I was gonna say this character can also contain gorillas. You know, got those big normals. Soul has to navigate. Plus, Faust is constantly dictating the pace of the match like that. You know. Yep. Yeah, especially with this uh, RNG, and if he gets any, you know, uh, a good item, it definitely puts it in his favor even more. And his normals are really good against uh, keeping Orphan in check with air and ground. Ooh. <laughs> Call out with the chop. <laughs> Yeah, the chop is an incredibly good move, man. Like, <laughs> it, it hits really far away, like deceivingly far. Like, nearly half screen. Yeah, I mean, I can just tell you as, um, as regular soul, I do not like seeing Faust on the screen. He, he keeps you out. And then Order Soul is, like, even less range than regular soul, so... It's gonna be tough, but looks like he's getting him to the corner, working him out. Oh, no. Okay, force my way back in. <laughs> Wow, that's a, that's a, <laughs> what a car call out with that DC, but worked out pretty well for uh, Hama. Yeah, I'm telling you, Hama, the silverback, he will pound his chest in your face, and you need to show him, I have the keys to this cage. I can't let you escape. But you know, he, he slips through the bars and this happens to you. Like, what are you going to do about this? <laughs> yeah, Hama's definitely working really hard right now, trying to keep the pressure going, but he... Oh, but Terragor managed to get out of the corner and, um, yeah, basically put, ends up putting himself in a bad situation where those are those instances it's like you have something good going right, like you're pressuring and then you accidentally jump and you could just walk under those jumps sometimes, like depending on your the height of the character, like Faust can just crawl under really low. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. That, you lost you the corner that, to that. Yeah, and then, put, and then ended up putting uh, Hama into the corner and then turning the tide against him. I also have to say, you know, I think there's something about the pink Faust colors. I think it gives you better RNG. Like, look at this. The pink Faust is always very powerful. <laughs> the like, colors you know, determine Nage. how good the RNGs are going to be. <laughs> you, you know, Nage plays pink Faust, so like other people want to be like Nage, I get that. But I swear to God, the pink skin, like, it just it just gets better items or something. So it's like the Inky Dama? What is this RNG? 
OTG flower. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the flower is pretty good. It ignores OTG and um, you can you can combo from it consecutively. Even after you put Black Beat, it becomes like an actual combo. Ah, uh, Tech Trill, the classic. House players will check you. Oh, but you better get that safe jump because Hama will check you too. You got those safe jumps or no? I'm gonna do it every time. Yeah, Hama's doing pretty well uh, once he gets in. But Terra were doing a really good job also of uh, keeping him out with, uh, you know, with the uh, push jump. And uh, items also seem to be helping oh, out a lot too. Oh, nice oh, throw. Yeah, dude. You he wakes up a little, little, little different. So when you oh. do too late, you want to kind of do it out of uh, throw range, like not too close. Yeah, that's like one of the first things you learn in Guilty Gear because they're so strong. You know, reversal throw is you have to be conscious of it. it's one frame. You know. Well, when Terracorp hit Bell, so it was definitely a, a big momentum shift there. Yeah, I'm starting to think that Axel was a, a da like a data gathering play, you know, and then just pulled out the Faust, contained the gorilla instead. Yeah, it's possible. Pretty similar characters, honestly, too. I mean, like in 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 their game plan versus Order Soul. So. Yeah. Maybe he wanted to see if he could get away with the Axel, not show his full hand with Faust yet, but then, you know, <laughs> yeah. that, that obviously didn't work the first game, so he just pulled it out. He has to do the early download. All right, let's see. That was two one. Okay, let me update the bracket. Okay, before we get into that next match, though, I'm gonna run an ad stream so we don't get hit with the pre rolls. Mm -hmm. Please excuse me. You got ninety seconds to go get a drink or use the bathroom, or anything like that. And then right after that, we're gonna have a uh, Zheng Hao versus Key Viper, who's had ample time to uh, see if his internet gets fixed or not now. So hopefully it has. So we'll see you in ninety seconds. Okay, and then you know while 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 this is not on here, I can pull up our sponsors for those who did not see the ads. So you know, thank you. Gotta bring up bring out our OGs. There they are. Look at them go. Okay, well, while I wait, I'm gonna update that overlay. So you know, chat amongst yourselves, have a good time. So I know uh, Vicky is a a Kai player and a very solid one as well. Like I, I think. She started playing Plus Star like just once the rollback came came out. Um, but yeah, very solid. Uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing her Kai play uh, in this upcoming match. And uh, I can tell you Zeng Hao plays Jam. He's one of the newer players as well. Started mm -hmm. once the rollback beta. Uh, you know, Jam is one of those characters. He might be one of the shortest range characters in the entire game, you know, and... Uh, I, com I comparatively is a good buttons control the neutral kind of character. Mm -hmm. So yeah, yeah like Jam. Yeah, Jam is kind of similar in in terms of like uh, her game plan, right? She has a lot of good tools to kind of close the gap, like with her uh, with her dash up uh, with puff ball, right? Force break puff ball. Um, but Kai also has tools to interrupt a lot of those. Her moves, like big counter, like 2D is really good. Stun Dipper works really well in certain situations. Um, but yeah, this is going to be an interesting match because she's kind of similar in terms of like how Order Soul thinks, right? Like you just want to go in and you just want to keep on uh, applying pressure and try to break the opponent's like defense. So this will be very fun to watch. Okay, uh, Terragord, if you're watching the stream, I'm a. Uh... I have to ask you very politely to leave so we can open up room for the others. I won't. I, I out of principle, will not kick you for now. But my ass. Oh, there it is. Thank <laughs> you. There we go. I hate. I didn't want to have to pull out my fight stick. I'm gonna give you the courtesy. Yeah, no problem. I just I was too lazy. My fight stick is like maybe two feet out of arm's reach right now, and that's a little bit too far. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, ad is up. It's really great to see new players enter uh, this tournament because, you know, it also shows, like, uh, where they're at and also 
helps them grow really quickly too, to seeing kind of things uh, that's going on. A lot of good players in the bracket, so there's a lot of benefits to this for all the new players. Yeah, yeah, I feel you. Especially, you know, we were talking about it the other day, it's uh, there's a lot of new players, but then also because rollback netcode is so so uh, great, you know, your player base also happens to widen, so yeah. if your chances of finding someone that you can play well with and it's at your skill level is increased, so it's always nice. Yeah. It's also like, you know, if you think about back in 2014, 2015, when, you know, it was on PSN, right? And you you were playing on terrible delay, uh, delay based netcode, and you don't get to have the wide diversity of uh, good players to connect with. So this, you can actually play with uh, basically anyone in the United States uh, from you know, coast to coast and playing all all these, you know, strong players, you, you actually learn like way faster, right? Because back in the day, the only way you can get any kind of good competition or good practice with, you know, characters you're not used to is going to majors or events. And, you know, you don't, and then also paying money, right? Like taking vacation time, um, you know, just to play with these people, um, what, maybe twice, three times a year. Now you can play anytime. <laughs> you can request matches and, you know, learn matchups really quickly. Um, it's a blessing. Definitely. It's true. I, I heard about even I heard that even the PC version of Plus R was the best version of the netcode, but it was still trash. Mm -hmm. And you know, I was like, oh, it can't be that bad. People are always over exaggerate how bad it is. Blah blah whatever. So then one day, me and uh, us from the locals decided to try it. They were not lying. I could not believe it. It it lags on the character select screen. I was like, how is this even possible? Like <laughs> like just trying to select my character. Like there's already like too much lag to play. Right. Okay, so Zeng Hao's internet still did not work, so I'm just gonna hand Vicky that 2-0, move him down to losers. Okay, so you wanna just start round two? You just wanna go top to bottom, or do you wanna go to those who haven't played yet? Uh, we could go to... Oh wait, no, they all haven't played yet, never mind. Yeah. Okay, you just go top to bottom. I don't know. Yeah, we could just go top to bottom. Yeah, make it easy. So Prime, Prime and Stark's already played, right? So we should already have moved them up into... There. Yeah, it's gonna be Jin and Starks. Okay, so let's get Jin and Starks into the stream. I'm gonna go ahead and post in there and you should chat. Oh, you already got it. Yeah, I would say this is probably the the, the greatest thing that happened for any of the Guilty Gear franchise having good netcode, right? Like. It just connects you to more players, and also the convenience is very nice. Yeah, and then you know, it's um even the times when like uh it, it's it's weird to say, but you know what I mean when it's like even the times where the connections are a little suspect, even like it's still not ever that bad, you know. Like I'll tell you what, it's better. So I I actually just I was playing on PSN Exit for years right <laughs> people are like I was raised in the darkness i was i was and then just recently i was playing it on pc so i bought it for the pc and played it and then the rollback came out man it, as much as i love exer 2 like it's hard for me to go back to the delay base one like this is too too good rollback is way too good yeah i was saying you know i always have a special place in my heart for exer because it was the game that got me in the guilty gear but you know going back and trying to play it can be so frustrating sometimes and not even because of the game itself you know it's like mm -hmm. that netcode is some days it's it's fine some days it's like i can't even like dash you know it's weird oh this is gonna be oh Jin nc the dizzy okay we see yeah he has a very strong dizzy I've seen him play like in uh, other events, online events recently, and he's done some really, really strong killing. And yeah, you know, busy set play That's character, two air dashes, you know, gonna gonna put you in the mix like what's happening right now. And the thing is, you know, coming from Exart, a lot of people oh. think Dizzy is really strong. And, uh, you know, it, it's it's debated, but in this game, I think it's pretty well established. She's a very strong and scary character. Yeah. And Jin is definitely applying, like, really, um, really strong momentum early in the match. And, um, it's, 
definitely keeping on the in a very tight situation. He's pushing when he gets pushed in the corner. You can see Jinnis like flying his uh, fish summons from full screen, and then using that as a way to confirm uh, when he can have access to go in, or in also reacting to how Drux is coming. And her jump, uh, her jump to us is incredible, by the way. Oh yes, I, I always heard that button was really good, and you know, I was starting to play against it. See, oh, I can't even anti-air this. Time to air throw it. And I go check dust loop. You can't even air throw it. I'm like, oh, yep. damn, okay. I'm throwable. That oh, was a very know. convincing set for Jin. That was a very, very <laughs> convincing set. But Dizzy is also very strong in this, and if you're not familiar with this matchup, it can be a, a, a very stressful uphill at first, but yeah, it's a... You, you definitely have to play against like really strong dizzies to understand uh, what's going on because she has a lot of crazy mix-ups in the corner very ambiguous high uh, double overheads um with her double air dashes and then empty, yeah like empty jump empty you can jump. you know don't forget the two air dashes on top of delay id mix-ups so she can yeah, delay exactly. even more like and then what else, you know, all, all that being said, you know, her name is Dizzy for a reason. There's always some drawback to the character. She has the lowest uh, stun resistance in the game, and I can tell you as Soul, sometimes you just get one counter hit combo and she dies. So she gets yeah. Dizzy into death. So conversely, when you play against Dizzy, you know, it's an opportunity to be absolutely sure of your confirms, because, you know, sometimes all you need is that one chance. That's, yeah, he's, right now, Jin is doing a lot of the... The sauce right now in the corner with the delayed uh, air dash after the uh, first one. Really hard to see. You just have to like react as well as you can to very strong stuff. Nice air throw. Oh, okay. Well, it'd be like that sometimes versus set play. It's a quick 2 0 for Jin. Yeah, Jin is a monster with Dizzy, man. <laughs> His uh his awareness too, like of uh, when he's you can tell when he's setting up the fish, uh daggers from full screen and bubbles, like he's definitely trying to look for a reaction from the player at every given moment. So he's definitely doing like screen checks, uh and just trying to figure out how to get in the safest way possible. That was a very uh, good round for Jim. Yeah, you know, um Damn, I was gonna say, oh yeah, if you're coming from Exar too, right? Like, uh, first time I played against Dizzy, I was like, oh, okay, I know this setup, it'll be fine. I block it the way I'm supposed to block it, but then, uh, hey, fish hit twice in this game, okay, that's fine. <laughs> right, I have yeah. to learn, I have to learn something new, that's cool. And, and then, then you know, sometimes in um in Exar, she didn't get mid-screen stuff because, uh, um, oh, she did because of Y or C, right? So like sometimes she would uh, some knock you down mid screen, summon Y or C, and you have to hold that. But um, in this game, she'll get it mid screen because the first laser hits you meaty, and then she gets the IAD in and then jail you, right? And yeah. then the second hit comes again. It's like oh. Yeah. So I'm looking in the chat. <laughs> Starks is like, wait, did the same fish go from bite to laser? <laughs> I was like, yep, she can do that in plus art, man. She has a lot of good like like I said, uh, ways to check people before she goes in, right? Um, and then not just that, but if you try to kill the fish, it can act as a meat shield for her to go for either, you know, more combos for the during the recovery frames of the move that hits the fish, or go for throw. So she has a lot of good flexibility and pressure when she gets started. Okay, looks like the fuck. I was kind of scared that we were going to have a lobby issue there, but it looks like it worked out. Okay, so as you said, uh, Vicky on the Kai, and I know my man Gumi. He planned. Oh, never mind. I see. I, I I told you. If I start commentating before the match starts. Okay. I think there's a lobby issue. We we ran into this the other day. Oh, which one is this? Is this the one where the the lobby crash would be? Yeah. It, okay. Well, let's try it again. See if. Um... Yeah, I'm just gonna remake. And then if not, the way we fixed it the other day was have one of them host the lobby and then invite me so then I can spectate. Gotcha. But let's try this one more time. Okay, we'll so do... let's try this again and let's see if uh, one of them will host the, host the lobby. If this doesn't work, then um, 
one of them will just have to host and then invite me, which is fine. It's no big deal. Okay. It's a good thing we practiced this on Thursday. So. Yeah, uh, the beta, I mean, after the beta, there has been uh, fewer issues oh. or occurrences of issues for me. Okay, I think it's happening. So, yeah. All right, okay. It's okay, so either Goonie or um, yeah. Vicky has to make the lobby. Where are you going? Oh, and then, um, so some people are asking in, in the chat now, uh, and you, do you think losers should just play off stream whenever they're ready? Um, if they want to, they can, um, but we would, I mean, we can also play uh, all the matches because uh, we we have a pretty small bracket, so I don't think that's an issue. Okay, well, in that case, um... Well, you know what, like, let, 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 um... I was about to say, we could just let them decide if they want to play off stream or not. Because, I yeah. mean, like, right now, the only losers match is Starks versus Hama. And if one of you two want to actually be on stream, then that's no problem. Yeah, let, uh, let them play. Let, so you guys, uh, Hama and, I believe, um, Starks, right? Or is it yeah. not Starks? Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah. So you, you guys can go ahead and start playing. Can you go ahead and let them know in the chat real quick? I'm always about that player choice. It's up to you. Okay. Right, then so uh, I'll pass. Yeah, I'm not gonna commentate. Let, let him let him get into the match first. I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah, we'll go ahead and let them start their matches. Moment of silence for all the Guilty Gear fans. Oh god, the suspense. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay, we made it. Oh, here we go. We got Goomy with Viking and Vicky with Kai. I like the strawberry color. Like strawberry, uh, perfect. Always about the pink colors. But unfortunately, Soul does not have a pink color in this game, so I use Zombie Soul. But anyways, Don't they have, about me. Do they have mods where you can actually have, like, custom made colors for this character? I have probably. I mean,. They probably exist, but I haven't seen them personally. Alright, so what are you thinking about this matchup? Who do you think, you know, I I'm anticipating uh, Kai, you know, you, you see a character like Kai and he has his big buttons and good projectiles, you know, he's controlling neutral generally, but then you have to remember, Viken, even amongst Guilty Gear characters, is a unique case, because the way you play versus Viken, wow. very that different. Was, that was a really good jump, a, a late jump S. Land and went for the throw. Like, and uh, she was trying to go for the uh, aerial counter. So yeah, I mean, on the one hand, Kai's game has a lot to do with tick throws, right? This is mixed up as a lot of strike throw already. Yeah. And you know, so Viking. But in this Viking has to block to get yeah those card cancels, so she she yeah. becomes more susceptible to throw. But Vicky's doing a really good job of uh for the awareness of the matchup. Um, kind of like when he's full screen, he will, you know. Throughout charge stunners, but when he's also uh, trying for defensive, he's got the air star, air jump us. Ooh, high TD. Look, I've said oh, it publicly really? on my stream many times, I'll say it again. Never trust Kyle Kisuke players, but this one goes to Vicky Viper and Kyle's 2D. <laughs> Vicky's really good. Like she, she practices uh, hard, you know, really hard with the character uh, she dedicates to, and it oh, shows. Yeah, yeah. Right? Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not taking anything away from the Kyle Kiske players themselves, but man, Kyle Kiske, I see him on the screen. I have to worry of whether or not my combos hit on him because of his weird like hurt box. Yeah, I hate it. I despise it. And then they're like, oh, I have no mix up. And then, and, you know, it's like my character sucks. And then they do, they do greed sever for like the fifth time. It's like, man, I can't do anything. I'm like, you know. But this, but this is also a hard matchup for Kai, too, because um, Mike and Daryl, I mean, she's she's really hard, right? So you got to play this game where you know that she's going to counter often. So you got to go in and make her think that you're going to go for pressure, but you go for throws and stuff instead, right? Um, Yep. And you, you have to you have to check yourself too as the uh, non-biking player. 
You yeah, gotta, but I can um, think that things like your normal block strings are no longer your block strings. They're Vikings' yeah, exactly. opportunities to like, you know, mess with you. Right, you have exactly. to change the way you see the game when you play Vikings, yeah, which is why she's always inherently strong. It's, she's a different game, basically, when you fight against her. You have to kind of think in a different... You have to have a certain mindset to adjust to it. Yeah, I always say it, it always takes me a few games like, oh wait, I'm playing against Biken. You know, like in my head mentally, I have to be like, oh wait, I don't just get to do my block string anymore. Yeah. I have to change my stagger timings. I have to, you know, show that I'm willing to, <laughs> to run up and throw, stuff like that. Right. It's like while you're playing your game, she's basically playing, well, while you're playing a different game, she's basically playing normally, right? Like she, she doesn't really worry too much about that stuff. She can just do normal things. You, against Viking, you have to really be yeah, like that. cautious. Yeah, doing a uh, 6H, super projected two hit move versus Viking, that usually doesn't work out too well for you. Right. I do think this matchup is in uh, Viking's favor though, overall. But, you know, Kai definitely has damage output to, uh, to counter that. Ooh, getting hit meaty, jump heavy. Oh, but Kyle's hurt box, I told you. Kyle Kisuke and his hurt box pushed out the counter hit jump heavy. You hate to see it. Ah, uh, see, see, Vicky Viper's going for like really big stagger delays on her block frames. Mm -hmm. Gotta do that versus Bike, and you have to be careful. Yeah, so you can you can tell that uh, Vicky's like stalling her normals. They check for the counters, right? Oh, nice jump does. Oh, round start beats ever. Al Kiske players never trust them. They're gonna do it. I don't understand. I respect that man. <laughs> I personally like Greed Sever, man. I love using that move. No, I just the way I feel about Greed Sever is the way I feel about uh like Axel and his DP. Like Axel oh. players like I'm like Axel players like man, my character sucks. I have no defense and they whiff DP like five times. I'm like, well, you know, maybe. Maybe right. you brought it upon yourself. Maybe doing Creed Sever up close and being minus, you know? Yeah. Maybe it's not the best idea, but who am I to say? I have not entered the mind of the Kyle Kiske player. Mm. Oh, that was a quick one, though. I think that is 2-0 for Vicky. 2-0 for Vicky. Very, uh, it, it got closer. The match just got tighter uh, in the second set. And Yeah, but, that uh, first <laughs> round. Mm -hmm. They are really feeling each other out, but then that second round, I guess, the adaptation couldn't be made the other way around. I think he did a good job of using the uh, the force break um, charge stun edge in that situation at the end because uh, it gives little options for Agumi or Viking to counter and stuff. You could actually punish her during that. Okay, let me update the bracket real quick and then I'll make that lobby again. Uh, that was 2 0 for. Viper. Okay, next. Yes, my favorite. My favorite Agumi. player in the entire world. Matt Homa versus Rizzer. The Homatos. I'm gonna let Sibi, Ben, and Gumi know. They can go ahead and play. So I can tell you, having played both these two a lot, we're going to be seeing Justice versus uh, Eddie. It's always interesting to see what... Oh, Oma Justice thinks. versus Eddie. This will be interesting, yeah, for sure. It's always interesting to hear from Koma why Eddie sucks and why this matchup is bad. <laughs> but, you know, we'll see in person first. Eddie, Eddie changed on stream. a lot, for sure. Eddie changed a lot from EC Vanilla <laughs> drastically. But, so, yeah, um, look, look in chat, there's Kalma already telling you why Eddie sucks. Look, <laughs> he's, he's doing it already. Yeah, but I will say plus our Eddie is much better than Exert Rep 2 Eddie. <laughs> I mean, this no no one is uh, no one is denying what happened to our boys Otto and Exard, but yeah, you know, plus Dude, our I, Eddie. I can't believe like some basic air normal to be dumped to, or sorry, 
Zato's or two H. I was like, dude, what? <laughs> he needs was... that, and then his six P too. His six P sometimes gets stuck. It's like, why? You, you know, we we know what happened to the boy Zato in, in Exard, but you know, you you come back plus our Eddie, and he hits you with like a drunkard shade loop out of an unblockable, and it's just like, you know, maybe maybe he deserved this, you know. I'm sorry, Zato players, you got to put in the work, but look at what your boy fair, did like, to us all these years. Yeah, he deserves that attention, especially with like, the amount of execution and architects to get a start up is pretty difficult. Yeah, I agree. We had that talk yesterday of the high execution characters should be good, you know, so it's okay, but I, I, I like I like seeing Eddie on the screen and doing cool Eddie things, but you know, when it's happening to you, it's like, man, I hate this character. Oh man, he's. Yeah, he's definitely getting a press right now on the corner. He caught the fourth break air dash. They fell for it. Yeah, imagine being a character with no air dash versus two characters. <laughs> like, <laughs> this doesn't look very fun. See, this is what I mean. Like, I think this looks super cool as a spectator, but if I'm the Justice player right now, this sucks. Yeah. And then, you know, you probably can't even do nukes safely from full screen because he has drill you know, too. But Justice does have the weakness to this matchup, so it's, it's not impossible, right? So you just have to try to get the early momentum going and figure yeah, out a way true. to take Zotto. back. Zotto has a hard time defending himself as well, but I mean, mm -hmm. if you never put him in that position in the first place, yep. this is what it looks like. Exactly. Also in this matchup too, or just in general against Zato, there's knowing the grill facing line, the bar and the close one, and then the force curve. Yeah, um, and then the projectile goes through it, but I mean like, you have to always be aware, I, I'm not safe at this range anymore. Yeah. Well that was a very convincing first set for Matcoma. Matcoma has a really, um, really big air control movement. With Zato, especially because he's playing very cautious, right? While he's trying to find like a, a really good opening. So he's when he's in the air and floating, he's looking for uh, any air dashes. Um, yeah, just very, very solid uh, approach to this matchup. Yeah, plus Palm uh, was known for his, you know, really good spacing control and air control too. And, you know, when you <laughs> have Nobiru and you have 2H, and then on top of this, uh, you know, Koma has those air throws on point, like, it can be tough to escape. Yeah, for sure. Like, you're, you're, you're stuck on the ground because of this, and then, you know, you're like, oh, I better jump. But then you're stuck on the ground because of Nobiru, because of air throw, like, it can be tough. Oh, but, you know, there's the counter. Oh, you better corner, you better knock down. This, yeah, there you, you go. Now, now your game begins. This is just fan for here. This is a, a good positioning for Justice. Uh, but just as quick as it comes, it can go. And now you're back in Eddie's world. Okay, so if I'm if I'm Coma, I noticed that Rizzer just chose to down back everything. So next time I'm either going overhead or command throw. Oh, fuzzy, never mind. Coma opened the book even more than I did. Okay. Oh, God, round start DP? Okay. Well, Justice DP. Yeah, they're giving each other space now. Trying to play slow. I, I think uh, Eddie knows he's up around. Up burst, up meter, like, he can come to me. Oh, wow. Call out the drill with the sword. Ooh. Nice Michael Boyd in there. The so Nasir is now very aware of like the drill, which is good. Now he's like trying to find a way to set up the bomb too from that range when he's like, yeah, like, oh no, he attacked the drill. Yeah, that active frames on the drill makes all that difference. Yep. Yeah. Once Eddie player sees that you got clipped by the drill in any capacity, he's gonna definitely start off with this stuff. Any kind of knockdown really. But the drill is definitely a free free coupon for the pressure. Uh I think I like what Rizzer's doing, he's buying time, maybe he'll get his burst back if he's lucky right now. Yeah there it is. So he has one more chance to escape. Here it is. Nice blocks there. 
Emmer's running out, but Rizzo's also ha has the life deficit, so he has to win. Oh, he has nice. to pull it out real quick. Okay. okay. Will Eddie go for the timer scam? I believe Mac Bum is just gonna backdash like five times. Yeah, he's okay with that. Yeah. That's a <laughs> but, but, yeah, I knew. Yep, there we go. He was looking for that. He's waiting for that dash, the force break dash from Justice. So that's why he was floating in the air. Yeah, it's a quick. Well, not the quickest, but that is a 2 0 for Coma. Looking struggle city for Justice Very versus this character. That was a very good round for uh, Lucia at the end. He was kind of adapting pretty well, like uh, being aware of the spacing, right, of the drill, and um, playing more defensive, um, rather than force, like forcing the Eddie to come in while he was setting up bombs and stuff. So that's that's a good adjustment. Yeah, I agree. It's just the uh, unfortunately tournament sets are first to two, so yep. I'm sure, so, the longer okay. set it would have been a little bit better, but yeah. So Gumi won the set in the losers. And I'm Very trying to well. figure out who won in the set with, uh, let's see, who is that? I'm looking back here real quick. Okay, Hama, Gumi. So th so it's Gumi and Hama playing next. So we got Pat, Doug Plot versus Terragor. You're up next? Yes. Okay. And Bracket is updating. Should be updated now. Okay, so we saw Terragord earlier with the Axel slash Faust, and I know 4 or 5 Pat is a, oh, well, bug plot, but uh, he's a Johnny player. So those are the two characters we'll be seeing on stream very shortly, most likely. Yeah, Pat's, Pat's been a, a Johnny player since ever since I've known him uh, years ago. He's very good too, very, very good, and he helps. he's very good with helping out the community in Maryland and Virginia. Okay, I guess he's Thug Plot. Change that. It's not four or five. My my mistake. I'm gonna get Thug Plot. Well, so this would be a Faust versus Johnny matchup, because Terragor or Axel possibly. Yeah, that's why I said Axel versus or Axel slash Faust. I'm not sure. He mm -hmm. could mix those up on the character select screen. Oh, he's okay. So he's going with Axel. Alright, I guess I guess he opts to get the download with Axel first. We've done this before, I've seen it. <laughs> yeah. And he gets the Genki Dama of Pink House. You know, so both these characters have big normals. You're expecting, you know, Axel inherently is like the zoner. Well, air quotes zoner, but you know. Johnny has big buttons while not necessarily being a zoner. So you're gonna have to hold this. It starts that quickly. Yeah. Or five this is a very experienced player. He's gonna corner you. He's not gonna overcommit. And now you're in Johnny's world. He's playing that right spacing. Like you don't want to press buttons right here. Right. This is still. This is pretty difficult still for uh, Johnny and Johnny to match up. That Axel has a lot of players to kind of force. Uh, you know, Johnny player work harder. But right now it seems like Pat's keeping things under control with uh, this knockdown. But we'll see how things roll. Oh, nice. So he was aware of the fake um, a command grab. So he did a jump forward just right out of the apex. At the apex where he's going to miss the, uh, I guess, six last. Yeah, um, so one thing coming, like, you know, okay. I always offer my perspective as the resident Exard Zoomer, but you know, you know, if you're coming from Exard, you know Johnny is the raid boss character of that game. You've seen what he does to people. You know how mm -hmm. bad it can be. But um, yeah. switching this game, you know, like it, it's weird to me. I mean, obviously, I'm not a Johnny player, so I can't speak on who I prefer to play. But like, you know, like as good as Exard Johnny is, I honestly think Plus R Johnny is cooler. Like, I think so too. Well, he has more, you know, he has more tools to work with, more uh, creative flexibility. Yeah. Um, but the first time I played uh, Bug Plot, uh, it was he hit me with some like delay up coin setups. I was like, oh, that's cool. He can't even do that in Exard. Like yeah. the moment I saw egg, uh, up coin, <laughs> I was like, just that small extra tool is like that. That's actually really cool for it for Johnny. Like meets sure. you in the air with the up coin or something like. 
That, that's it's not even sauce, but it looks cool. He, I don't think uh, Exar Johnny needs an up coin. <laughs> he okay. has everything. He, def he definitely does not need it, but I'm saying he definitely has everything already. I'm so. saying if they gave it to him, you know that would be cool. But I'm not mm -hmm. trying to give Exar Johnny more more things to play with. I mean, if they, I mean, it's too late now. But if they balance him to a point, you know, where it's more close to like plus Exar Johnny, where he has uh, reasonable buttons, <laughs> reasonable. reasonable. And the other thing when I came to this game was, um, you know, like he can do like Clear Joker, FRC, he has the, you know, Aaron Senga, he has the cheese stick, like he has so many air options in this game, I'm never ready for it. Yeah. So like each time I block like Killer Joker in the air or something, I'm like, ha, it's my turn. And then he RCs and I'm like, oh wait, now I'm dead. Bro. <laughs> Ooh, 6k and the wall stick too. Yeah, wall stick 6k is pretty cool too. Yeah, his combos are much cooler in this one too. Like. It's just way much, and he has a track now, which is an awesome move. I missed that move a lot. Oh, but here we go. The Axel show has started, possibly. Yeah, I guess he's sticking out. He's sticking oh, with yeah. Axel. Johnny's big in the air, so you know that's juicy anti-airs for Axel. Yeah, look at that life okay. How quickly it starts. You can start to see the adjustment character is using doing right now, uh, kind of playing more patient because when young. Just throwing out more 5 p Oh, man. Like... Oh. The mist is still on him. Oh, nice air for real. Look at that damage. But... Level oh, 3. Happened. He had the life Senga. Lead, like... Oh, oh no! He had the hard knockdown. Oh, he's gonna go for it. Oh, how he did the... I don't know what kind of burst you would call that. It was so high up in green, Can man. you believe it? He had the life lead for yeah, 50 whole burst. seconds of the round, and then just lost it in like 5. Dude, he pulled, he pulled off the Galactic first, man. I was like... <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate. Oh. That was like... I, I was hyping my boy Axel up. You know, had the life lead, gets to play slow from like 80 seconds in. Yeah. But then, but then just one one mistake <laughs> for an experienced player like Bug Plot. And that's all it takes sometimes. Yeah. It doesn't um, help when you whiff burst either, but you know. I think I think he might have panicked first uh, after the Nsenga right in the air. It was a two hit. And I think... Cat was trying to go for the one hit, but he went up and did a jump dust, and I think he panicked from that because he thought that Nsenga was going to hit afterwards. But um, no, but still, that was a um, really good adjustment from Terra towards him. He was uh, just kind of spacing out more, right? Kind of just having Pat work harder to get in. But I think towards him, once he got caught um, whipping 5P with the IAB attack, definitely changed into Pat's favor. So now we have um, Razir versus Zhang, Zhang Hao. Um, if you want, I was thinking that the losers should just, losers bracket should just play until uh, top eight. Do you think okay. that makes more sense? Because then... Yeah. yeah so so Razir and Zhang Hao and Terragort and Prime need to play their matches so that uh, losers round two and... Uh, have its players okay yeah because right now we're at uh round three in winner's bracket but uh round two for losers still hasn't finished hasn't even started so okay let's go ahead and get the uh so we got gumi and sleepy ben have they i think they already played i think gumi won that set yeah, so yeah. Could have, you, uh... you, um you have to refresh your bracket it doesn't uh it doesn't dynamically update if you refresh oh, it to okay. see the current yeah. oh i see oh yeah, okay yeah. i see i see all right let's get terracord and prime Okay. I mean, see, that's what I was thinking too, but then Terragort just played, right? So, like, do we do a winner's bracket or do we do, like. No, let's just go ahead and. Let's just do Rizzer and uh, Zenghao. Let's just go through the loser's bracket. Okay, yeah, my thought. See, you see, I don't want to do Terragort and Prime because Terragort just played, but then I can't do Zenghao versus Rizzer because we don't know if Zenghao's internet is back yet, so. Yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll just uh, DQ him at the, at the internet. Is okay, okay, you know what, Here, here's what we'll actually do stream. I ran out of pre-roll time, so I'm gonna pull up our sponsors again. I'm gonna hit you with that 90 second ads. I'm gonna hit you with that 90 second ads, so if you want to get a drink or use the bathroom, now's the time to do it. And then we'll, uh, we'll see. I'm a, I'll talk to everyone in Discord and see what works out. So we'll be right back. Okay, yeah, so Rizzer pinged Zheng Hao, but he's not replying. I don't want Terragort to have to play two matches in a row, so... Okay, so we'll just have Rizzer move up. Uh, let me let me ping him, just to be sure. Okay.
Here we go. Yeah. Yeah, because if there's too many uh, internet problems, for example, like just trying to do the hotspot from his phone, which could, <laughs> yeah, which I... could also be troublesome. So, um, yeah, we'll just we'll just have to move uh, Risser into losers round two, and then we'll just start off with uh, Terragort and Prime. Alright, so in that case, let me... Well, yeah, basically after each match, I'm updating the bracket, and then you have to refresh because it doesn't dynamically update, so... Yeah, right. I'm gonna I'm I'm give Rizzer the 2-0 and then refresh. Okay. Yeah, okay. Alright, Terracord, I guess you're just gonna have to be up twice in a row. But that's fine, I guess. That's, a, that's, the, that's just the tournament life, man. Sometimes it'd be like that. Yeah, we still have... Um, we still have... You know, but sometimes getting getting to play twice in a row, you're like, you know, your hands are warmed up. You don't have to wait anymore. So it's mm -hmm. like sometimes in your favor, honestly. Like especially if you just played like a good player, like Thug Plot, and like your 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 head's in the right space to keep playing. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to get iced out, but then sometimes you want to keep them playing. So I guess yeah. it just depends. Once you're warmed up, it's a good. To me, I think it's a good place to be in, right? Because you're already like in that mindset of. Okay, well, I'm just playing. Got my hands all, you know, greased up. Yeah, I can go both ways though. Some people do want breaks because some, you know, they can't handle the overload. <laughs> like, yeah, mental endurance is definitely a thing. Yeah, mental endurance is definitely, definitely a thing. Uh, and you know, that's funny because uh, we've uh, we've experienced the. Uh, I, I I've heard they were a thing, but I never seen it before. But they got a. Uh, what? What's the word? They got a uh, guilty gear headaches. We call them for some reason. After long sets, a lot of guilty gear players are like I need to stop. I have a headache. I'm like, oh, that's weird. Because uh, I thought it was a joke, but then like one day, like three different people were in my lobby and they're like, all right, GGs. I have a headache. I'm like, oh, I, I never had this problem when I started out, but you know, it, it happens when you play for a long ass time. <laughs> yeah, guilty gear can be <laughs> mentally straining, but then sometimes too, I'll just be sitting there. I'm, I've been like doing matches for like seven hours. I'm like. Damn, heal me up yeah. for the next guy. Okay, well, I, break have, over. I so. don't have like headaches, but I do tend to get into this uh, mode of where I just start to be more carefree, right? Where it's just like, oh, like I, my mind's just not functioning. Like it's not actually uh, parsing the information properly. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Right. I, I, I can relate to that one. Like, um, it's like. I still want to keep playing, but I'm also like extremely aware that like, oh, I'm definitely autopiloting right now, and that's like probably my biggest problem as a player. Yeah, the second, that's the a, second that's I recognize, time. the second I recognize like, oh, I'm definitely just doing things. I'm like, okay, maybe it's time to take a break. All right, so we got Prime with Venom going, trying to find an opening, but Aragorn's definitely playing very aggressive right now. Got him in the corner. A good spot for Terraport. Oh, nice XP though. I think he called it uh, called out of the city. I think both these characters too are like the ones where like you see them and you assume they're like, oh, they must be zoners or you know, the new word for uh, strive players. They might be tricky characters, but uh, <laughs> but you know, it's funny because once both these play or once both these characters get started, they can be really in your face too. Oh my gosh, this is okay. So the tide turn right there when he did the oh. When he did the super, he carried him into the corner. It could have been his uh, round for sure. I imagine getting Dark Angel all the way to the corner. Must be nice. Yeah, Dark Angel, have your ball formation ready and start to mix up. Yeah, definitely Ooh. a good one. My favorite, my favorite command grab in the entire game. Well, what a classic. Yeah, the fact that you can cancel it too, right? Yeah, you, you're Very definitely quickly. blocking. Mm -hmm. And then, and then you're reminded, oh wait, Axe was a command throw for some reason. Yeah, once Axe will get you into a sweet spot, it's really, you, you, there's a lot of things you have to be aware of, right? He's definitely scary. 
from full screen and uh, from little mid screen and up close. Well, those are very quick round for quick match for Terragord. Yeah, you've entered the Axel low zone. When he's spacing you out right, it just doesn't feel like you can do anything sometimes. Is Terracor from Virginia or Maryland? Uh, I don't actually know. I've never, I've, I never played with either of these two players. Which is funny because I have this theory that Axel players only come out the tournaments because I never see them at locals. But then whenever there's an event or tournament, suddenly there's Axel players. Oh yeah. And I mean, imagine me being an Eno player from Exard. I go to locals for the first that. time, <laughs> and there's three Axel players. On the other hand, I get to learn the matchup really well, so it's not so bad, but... Yeah, there's, a, there's quite a few Axel players, but I see them mostly online. Uh, let's see what's in chat. He says RVA, so yeah, Terracor is from RVA. I don't know what that abbreviation is for. Is it uh, Richmond? Richmond area of Virginia? Oh, okay. Richmond, Virginia. That makes sense. Oh, Richmond, yeah. Damn, I didn't know that was uh, an abbreviation people used. I thought you would just say like Southern VA or something. Yeah. You know, it's weird because Maryland and Virginia uh, people, it's like, depending on where you are in the state, it's like it might as well just be one giant area. Yeah, exactly. It's because of the DMV, right? Like if you're, if you're in Southern Maryland to Northern Virginia, it's like, that's like its own like zone. Yeah, pretty much. I actually like this purple color for Axel. I was about to say, he's, uh, it's almost the same shade of purple as Dark Angel, like... Yeah, <laughs> he just blends in. Have to be careful as the Venom player. Now, maybe this is a part of Terragut's strategy, who knows? Oh, well, well oh, we won't dude. get to see any more, but still. <laughs> maybe if I mix up the Venom player by blending in with the ball, you know, he won't know what to do. <laughs> just purposely get hit. Just disappear. Yes, I meant to do that. Alright, so that was a very convincing set for Terragord. Okay, time to update that bracket. Well, now we can move on to the next round, unless you want to do the losers. Uh, it, well, no, because then Terragord would have to have played three matches in a row. I don't know if he wants to do that. <laughs> I mean, it's up to him. Uh, I'd say we should have Terragord uh, maybe take a break. Yeah, you know, how about let's do... Um, Gym yeah, I, I I don't want to make Terragor play three. Let's do uh, yeah. let's do one of the uh, winners brackets. Yeah. Let's do a Gen NC and a Thick Viper. Okay. Vicky. So we'll have that on stream, and this should be a really uh, good match too. I mean, these two, both these players are really strong, so this will be interesting to see how uh, Vicky will handle the onslaught of uh, disease fishes and. Dagger. Oh wait, hold on, Guilty Gear lore heads. And we get a lore check, is this before or after they're married? You know, spoiler alert. But, uh, you know, is it, this is a Kisuke family matchup we're about to see. Oh my god, yeah. This, this is, is like before. a... Okay, this is before they're married. So you know what, this is... This is, you know, working out the relationship problems before, you know, gotta work out together. Yep. Happens right typical, after. Typical, typical boyfriend-girlfriend arguments. Yeah, I feel it. See, this is deep lore matchup. It was a faded matchup in the bracket and in Guilty Gear lore. She's pissed because Kai's not helping do the dishes. So she's yeah, gonna... This is a Kis a Kisuke household matchup. The household yeah, issues are getting resolved. He doesn't do the laundry, dishes, yeah, sweeping I, the floors. I, you know what, you're right. Contributing to the relationship. We, we can't make assumptions, but I can definitely see Kyle Kisuke not doing the dishes. I'm just saying. <laughs> I don't know. Kyle Kisuke players never want, never trust them. He's not an honest man. Don't let him convince you otherwise. There's nothing honest about being a Kyle Kisuke player. And I, I will die on this hill. You all know. <laughs> you all know this. It's like, yeah, so what, Kai, doesn't Kai, like... Kisuke like have like a teacup collection or something? Oh, I'm he not drinks. a your lore head. I'm just hating. I just take any opportunity I get to hate on Kyle Kisuke. Yeah, maybe he drinks from those teacups and he just doesn't clean them. Leaves them all over his room and then she's pissed. Up. And it's like, this is your shit. Clean it up. See, He's like, like Kyle oh. Kisuke, he can miss me. But Robert Kyle? I'm all about that Robert Kyle. Robokai's sick. I think Robokai might be one of the coolest characters. But, you know, I see Kyle Kisuke on the screen. That's Omega Sleep. 
Ooh. All right. See, Dizzy. He's already started. Dizzy's had all this pent up rage about Kyle Kiske. You know, coming home late. Not putting away the dishes, not doing his own laundry. This is all the anger coming out right now. Yeah, damn, that was quick. Oh, jeez. Yeah, Dizzy, Dizzy is mad at Kai because of the dishes. Look at that. Always yeah, see is, your dishes. Yeah, this is this is poetry in motion right now. Every jump 2S is like, you know, it's like last week she remembered something that she's been holding on to. This is pent up rage. She's bringing it out right now. Don't act like it's never happened to you in chat, guys. You know what I'm talking about. I forgot I made this mistake like three weeks ago and it comes up in conversation. I'm like, oh, fuck. Of course she remembers. <laughs> like, yeah, look, yeah. look how fast that was. So Disney, Disney is also actually really good against Kyle, too. Um, it's very, very hard. But I think, you know, uh, it could be a matchup uh, awareness. Like, maybe Vicky's not used to this matchup. And um, it's it's very understandable. Like, if you, if you get, like team move like that it's it could be due to like a uh, matchup experience but also Jin is very strong like Dizzy is very strong in this version of the game so I believe in Vicky you know if, uh, what these players are good we'll see how she'll look you know even just knowing what these two characters do I can imagine Kyle Kiske doesn't have a very good time here because yeah. uh I mean look at this at this point of the war Kai is probably like all right all right look look I'll be the with you I'll speak the floor I'll move along like, like, Kai has a DP, but it's I'll, not... I'll continue, finally. Like, he has a DP, but it's not the greatest, right? So, like, once you once you lock into this in, in Dizzy's world, it's like, well, gotta hold this now, because you saw you saw Vicky Viper blocking for, like, 20 seconds. Plus, I don't know what, I don't know what normals Kai has that, like, really calls out what, what Dizzy wants to do, you know what I mean? It's like, you, I mean, this... this the anger in there is for the login to but it's also like just trying to close in the gap. That's what Kyle needs to do in this matchup, but it's really hard because he has a double air dash. And once he starts her uh, full screen zoning, full setup, it's very hard for Kai to get in. It's a very big uphill for him for sure. Yeah, and you know. Because like... most of the time, because if she starts that, most of the time, uh, Kai's going to just be blocking a lot. Oh, T-Quest is incredibly good color there. It's a very good anti air. Man, 2S is ridiculous. Look, look uh, the weekly I was playing against uh, Moongrass, who plays Seth, right? Or, damn. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Moongrass, who plays Dizzy, right? And uh, mm -hmm. Homo was commentating my match, and I knew I knew Dizzy was going to wake up 2S because I've been doing uh, delay IID mix-ups, right? Yeah. So so I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do empty jump 2D. So I hit him with empty jump 2D, and I get counter hit on his wake up, or on Dizzy's wake up. And Koma's like, oh man, if you did empty jump 2D there, you you would have hit him. But I'm like, wow. I did. I still lost. <laughs> like, Dizzy's 2S is really good. That was a very quick and uh, convincing round for Jin. Um, yeah, that's a quick 2 low. I feel it. Yeah. Okay, Dizzy Dizzy wins this argument, Kyle Kisuke. Kyle Kisuke is going back to the couch this time. <laughs> it's okay, it happens. We've all been there. It's okay. Kai, Kai, Sullivan. There's still a chance, you know, don't, don't take a scourge because you're just in a loose bracket. Every king has its queen, but this time the queen won. Alright, let's, oh, this is a classic right here. This is Matthew Komatos versus Thugplot himself. <laughs> Matthew Komatos. I, I'm a big fan of this matchup. I've seen it many times, it's always good. So kind of, kind of going back to, uh, like, mental endurance and stuff. Um exhaustion and such like you know when uh, a player gets into like a loser's bracket uh, there's also that that i guess like that burden or that weight that kind of carries with it right it's like oh you you got to play like as you know more matches like way more matches um so being mentally prepared for those situations too is important yeah it's weird some people they get sent to losers bracket and they like get defeated and it's like you know they they have this self-fulfilling prophecy of like oh i suck i'm just gonna lose anyways other people they get sent to losers bracket and like it awakens them some people get to that losers bracket and it's like they they just do the losers bracket run like all the way to grand finals i've seen it happen many times i've seen matt matthew comatose do it and then the you know 
It's not the end of the road when you're in the lose branch. There's definitely, you know, yeah, you just gotta keep your head in the game still and um, just keep that positive energy, right? Like, just, get, you gotta get more extra hungry when you're in that situation. Yeah, that's weird. I think, I think some people need the pressure on, you know what I mean? Like, once the pressure's on them, it awakens the final form. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, it, well, since this is like an online tournament, it might not have that extra uh, stress factor because if, let's say if you go to an offline event and you spent like a lot of money <laughs> to enter, right? And then you have this sense of like self-defeat in your mind. You can't, it, you don't have the luxury to do that when you go to offline events. I don't know. I think Calm was a gamer. Calm was definitely sweating in his seat right now. I know it. He's sweating in the seat when he sees Johnny on the screen. Especially, especially uh, if I plot Johnny because uh, mm -hmm. he has a habit of doing. He, he has a habit of doing neutral and Senka, which is like should be punishable, but like you know sometimes you just don't think Johnny's gonna neutral and Senka. Yeah. Oh Kuma wow. Really hates that. Yeah. Oh well, yeah. See, there it is. <laughs> yeah, no video was really nice. Oh my no! This thug plot wants to do. Uh, neutral and Senga, but then sometimes it still hits you, you know. Oh, he's gonna go for the unblockable? Oh no, he didn't have enough. Oh, 2 weak. I'm surprised 2 weak didn't hit from the backside, because I, I thought he had a bigger hitbox on Eddie's 2 uh, Also, just, just to be clear here, if you guys, uh, if, if it wasn't communicated clearly enough, these two have played together a lot, so. You might you might be seeing some player matchup techniques like that. Ooh. Wow, what a call out on that Nsenga. But that's a, that's actually a good uh, situation for uh up block to use Nsenga right there, because as he ran, it's like he just has to block it anyway, right? So it's like if he gets hit, then he gets hit. If not, then it's okay. Uh, we also have this uh notoriety about uh Bugplot is known to spend all, you know, cash out on the coins really quickly, you know, and uh, we're, we were only like 72 seconds in and uh, he already lost all of his coins, so the matchup has now changed pretty drastically. I wonder if he, if he was inspired by the Japanese player uh, X-Men Kaicho, who used to use <laughs> all of the coins, Ooh. like, right, right from that. Damn, little Eddie took the super for, for Kalma there. Yeah, the super... Yeah, definitely. And yeah, that was. That was pretty fortunate for Coma. He did a Bari super, but Little Eddie came in with the assist. Well, two D goes under that super too, right? Uh, Johnny's. Yeah. Yes, it's funny. <laughs> I call it out with meaty two D. But but you know you have to be careful because if you mistime it, then you know you're gonna get hit. That that super does a lot of damage. Yeah, especially with the counter hit. I, I heard round start in Senga. I, I don't know, maybe you didn't catch that. I think I heard it. Oh my god, neutral in Senga? Yeah, yeah, so basically, if you see Johnny doing uh, his sweeper in your soul, you basically just could always go for 2D if he's doing with 50% tension. It's weird. This matchup, see, that's what I thought too, you know, because uh, uh, this matchup, uh, Johnny's buttons definitely keeps Soul out, but you know, Soul 2D is Soul 2D, so sometimes you still stick it out, right? But um, mm -hmm. Johnny has 5k. That's the problem. 5k and uh, oh, 2D, 5k and 2D are like almost the same exact range, right? But it's like uh, two ships passing in the night because uh, Johnny 5k yeah, yeah. just low crushes, but then. Uh, um, Souls 2D quick. low low profiles and you know you just whiff in front of each other. But yeah, his 5k is really quick too, like it's a very, very good move. So basically it becomes um it becomes a matter of uh I try to use FD a lot versus Johnny to hopefully make him whiff and then I can like IAD or you know whiff punish with 5H or something, but you know mm -hmm. easier said than done, right? Right. Plus, plus, here's the thing that you may or may not notice if you're not, if you're like new, newer to Guilty Gear or like, you know, you're learning the matchup so you're not taking into account everything. Johnny has, um, his movement is very linear, right? Like that's his, one of his weaknesses. But then mm -hmm. if you pay attention and he walks you down, his meter gain is ridiculous. 
Oh yeah, his dashes? They're incredibly good for me to gain. That's probably one of the best tension pulls in the game, right? Yeah, like, like I, I just felt like, I'm like, why does he always have meter to FRC killer choke? Yeah, like right there, he just did it again, yeah. right? I'm like, why is this happening to me? And then, you know, I was watching the matches back, I'm like, damn. He's just walking me down, but, and, every, and every time he walks me down, he gets like half a bar. Yeah. Ooh. What a laugh. Um, <laughs> oh, well, hi. Yeah, very I'm good just... uh, convincing set for uh, Mr. Koma. And uh, that was really cool. That was a really uh, cool set, seeing how the players, since they play each other often, right? You kind of see the player have a tendency they are reacting Yeah, yeah, to. that was definitely some player tech. Um, the one thing I noticed I like that uh, Pat did too is when Koma jumped out of the corner and landed, right? Like he went nearly full screen. Uh, Pat just stood there mid screen, like as he was passing him over, and then just decided he wasn't within range of uh, Tiger Knee and Singa. It's like, just why not, right? Like you could, if he gets hit with the overhead or pushes a button, try to move out, he's going to get hit. If he's sitting there, then it's like, whatever. <laughs> he, he's still, you know, it's just resetting neutral at that point. Yeah, you're resetting really cool. neutral, and uh, you would think that that's good for Johnny, but, you know, conversely, Eddie has the opportunity to send out the drills now, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so updated the bracket again. Next up is going to be Paragord and Rizzer. Uh-oh. We might have one of those lobby issues again. Oops. Uh, uh how about... Have... Oh, who's... Okay, let me go ahead and check. Let me see. Maybe one of them will have to host an invite me. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna, let's give him one more try. Let's see what happens. That yeah. One more time? Yeah, just let them meet the lobby then. Yeah, okay, you guys. Okay. Be a good thing we practice on the weeklies, because, uh, man, when that happened on the weeklies, we were, like, sitting there stalling for time for, like, 30 minutes, but, uh, I guess this is just the solution for anyone else if you ever have this yeah. problem. So, the stream, like, uh, what's happening here is uh, in the tournament, when the first place winner will get the uh, second place spot for the teams, and then the remaining uh, second through sixth place will play tomorrow for a five man round robin to determine the uh, third place for the team. So, there's still a lot of chance for the, the top uh, six remaining. Or, yeah, six remaining players, so yeah, it should be exciting because there's already some really cool matches right now, right? Like with uh, Jin, Vicky, uh, Koma, and uh, Pat, that was really fun to watch. And Terragort's working really hard, too. Like, he's been putting in some some lip work with uh, Axel and playing back to back matches. Yeah, Terragort is, um, never played him, never. Uh, didn't know who he was before the bracket started, but you know, yeah. you know what I mean. When it's like sometimes you see players, and like you can tell right away just from like the movement or the way they like approach the game. It's like, oh, this guy definitely plays Guilty Gear. Yeah, I'm surprised he didn't pull out Faust though um, in his uh, last match. But yeah, it seems like that's like his pocket character, or maybe it's his main. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking sure. that Axel was the pocket. Axel was the test, you know, acquired data, and then you know he switches to Faust, and you have to adapt to that. But, you know, maybe if Axel pulls out the win, he doesn't need to, he doesn't need to you know, pull out the big hand. Mm -hmm. What do you think, though? Do you think Faust or Axel would be better versus Justice? Um... Axel, for sure. You, are you talking about this matchup, right? Yeah, versus Justice, would you rather be Axel or be Faust? Or? Oh, definitely Axel. I mean, yeah. but Faust wouldn't have any issues either, though. <laughs> yeah, that's Faust what I'm thinking, because when I was thinking about it, I'm like, you know, both of them are good options versus Justice. I mean, both of those matchups are not easy for Justice, uh, in my opinion. But I think Axel definitely has, like, more, like, a quicker damage output than Faust. It, it, cause, because he could also just chip away with just pokes, right? Um, yeah, this matchup must be very stressful, but Justice does have a counter. So if he call if he does a counter and calls out his long range post, then yeah, that makes it be really bad for Axel. Man, being able to cancel the command throw is so funny. 
I think I think you know, watching Terracord play, I think he's testing. He's seen he, every time he cancels the command throw, uh, Rizzer has been jumping. So you know, next time you see that command throw cancel, he's probably gonna do like a two S or something. Yeah, yep, there it is. I knew it. So now, you know, now the mind games begin. Yep, whiff on the counter, punish. Oh, nice to us. We couldn't convert that into a combo. Oh. Oh wow, Lenson just ate up the entire move. Wait, did Lenson go through the bomb? I don't think it did. Did it go under or did it through? I don't know. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, he, he went for it twice, so you know, maybe that's the tech for Axel. Because, mm. uh, Renson is a projectile, right? And it's like three hits. Mm -hmm. So they probably trade. You know, the nuke and Renson just oh, hit each other. Right. That makes sense. Yeah, uh, this, this, be... this is my presumption. I don't actually know if that's what happened, though. Yeah, because uh, it looked like, I don't know if he released it early, right? Because, uh, cause you can release, you can negative edge the bombs and then release it. Oh, okay, Tom, Tom, earlier. Uh, Tom was in chat claiming, uh, the startup of the nuke didn't finish yet, so Aransun just hit him, hit him out. Oh, okay. That makes yeah, I don't sense. know. I like it caught my eye. You know, it was like it happened at like a very precise moment. Yeah, there it is. Fake command throw and then anti air with two S. I like Terracord. I like what he's doing. Mm -hmm. I agree with this play style. Yeah, Terracord. Oh. Yeah, anytime you're in the air against Axel and within that range, you always want to have B. So I think uh, meter management, right, having FB is very important in this because you're going to be jumping. You, you don't want to jump in or approach the gap somehow, but jumping in empty is not a good idea. Ooh, there it is. Always have defense Round resources ready Rizzo. for you. Oh, okay, never mind. I stand corrected. Koma says Nuke did eat it to hit defense on. Oh yeah, I guess that's the interaction of the matchup. They both have two... They both uh, have three hitting projectiles that ride on the ground like that. Oh, wow, okay. Oh, I didn't think about that either, you know, if you're not if you're too close and you uh, send out a nuke, Axe will just command throw you. His command throw rides on the ground. This is, he has good control right here, but now he's, uh, he's in a very tight spot. Oh, nice. There you go. Teleport out of there. Don't deal with that. <laughs> I like yeah, I like what he's doing. Like, he's definitely uh Ooh, risk bar is cranked. Oh, oh, oh no, I dropped the confirm. This this could still win for two. Yeah, Risser can still win. Never too late. Never too late. Don't give up. Just keep it up. Here you go. Oh, command throw. Wow, the jump. Is it jump H? The, the, the cross me in the attack? TK. Oh, so wow. Good. That was that was a. <laughs> okay, really I like. I, that was pretty sick, Rizzer. I'll give you credit on that one. TK sword to call it out. Yeah, I saw that TK. Also, FGC stone with the rate of three. Eyewitness. Thank you, thank you. We are uh, hosting a TSP qualifying event, so you know if you're into that tournament set kind of stuff, you tuned in just in time. We're in a one-one in a losers bracket right now. You're seeing, you're seeing the heat. Yeah, Risser is good. Is adjusting really well in the last set. So hopefully, you can keep up the same kind of uh, momentum of game playing. Nice use that uh, Can we talk about uh, Ava Unit 2, Justice on the Hell stage? Uh, oh yeah, you're right. This is the uh, Oscar, right? Yeah, Unit Oscar 2 color. on the red Hell stage. I mean, I'm not saying this was intentional, but you know, it's gonna be tournament tactics. I'm not against it. Let's get that. Yeah, nice. Oh boy. Oh, okay. So potential, potential match point for Rizzer. Oh, or potential set point, actually. Oh, what? Okay. Nice throw. That, that looks oh, like yeah. a mistake. Airports right now in a very, very 
tough situation. And, oh, got out, but he was in a very tough situation. Oh, oh my gosh. No. The super. Oh, that's it. I think that's it. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. that was definitely flailing right there. That was pretty uh, pretty scrambly at the end, and it worked out well, for Rizzer. I will say I, that was a good match. That was a good set. Um, you saw that Rizzer uh, adjusted pretty well towards the end of the second match, right? In the previous set, and then now in the the final, like he basically just stuck to the same game plan, right? He knew what he was seeing, how Terragor was reacting to the missiles and his normals. And, uh, and that also, Terragor was getting hit by that teleport, uh, the force break teleport dash. So he's being more cautious, but also just, I think it's like the mental mind game there kind of adjusted more for Arisa there. Very nice. Okay, um, real quick, I'm going to run that ad break before we get to our next match, and I'm probably going to restart the, uh, well, I have to make the lobby anyways, so. Okay. Right. I'm going to run that ad real quick. Okay, I'll be right back. Yep. Okay, uh, stream, now's your chance to take that, uh, get that bathroom break or drink if you want it, and we'll be right back in 90 seconds, so there's no pre-rolls. For now, you can enjoy our, uh, our sponsors. Seems like Kenji left real quick, but I'm going to use this as an opportunity to restart this stream as well. The Discord stream. Alright, chat, what you been up to? You know, usually I'm really active in uh, talking to the chat, but uh, obviously doing the event and commentary like this, I can't do that like I want to, so... You know, if you're not here or you don't see the ads, this is the time. Anyone want to talk about Hades? What Hades build you've been running? Recently, I've been uh, I've been converted. You know, I, I I heard I heard the musings of the Doom Shield. Everyone keeps wondering why I keep shilling the Doom Shield, but man, what a build! The Ares uh, status effect on the shield's uh, special attack. I'm about that life. Right. Well, this is a very exciting set of matches so far. Uh, by the way, Kenji, I restarted the Discord stream, so uh, you might want to. You need to rejoin that if you haven't already. Oh, okay. Yeah. Right. Are you seeing it? I'm in the yeah, lobby right now. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. Okay, and we still got like 20 seconds of ads, so you know, just just uh, sitting here, so we don't have to see pre-rolls in case anyone wants to tune in. But I've already pinged uh, Gumi and Thugplot. Okay. Well, this will be an interesting one, right? Like Johnny versus uh, Arkin. Speedrun builds? What are the speedrun builds? What, what's the meta? What, what are people playing to uh, for the pro Hades runs? I'm definitely going to get on the Hades uh, this weekend. Yeah, I mean, Kenji, you see everyone in chat? Everyone in chat been playing it too. Like, it's a good-ass game. I believe it. I believe it. Um, I love, in, in, in my personal opinion, I think it's it should have been the uh, game of the year. From what I'm hear, right? So, but I did play a little bit of it. I didn't play a lot, but whatever. I played maybe a good 40 minutes at my friend's place, and I loved it. Every every minute of it, it's very fun. Yeah, it's like you know, it's a good game when like I don't even like that genre of game, like a uh, roguelite or like whatever. Mm -hmm. called, but um, you know, Hades just hits it right. I don't know. It's the one game I really like of that kind. I Always think the last. Yeah, the last roguelike I played was Dead Cells, and I was playing that on my iPad. So I got the PS4 controller attached and just played it. But I was hooked on that game. But yeah, just um, I just started getting into roguelikes just very recently. But I love them; they're fun. Like Finding of Isaac is really good. I like that one. I'll definitely yeah, get yeah, it's weird because I know a lot of people really like Binding of Isaac, right? Like a lot of people really love that game. I, I'm just okay about it. You know, I wasn't that into it. I don't really like the whole, um, you know, that, that genre, as I said, but I don't know what it is about Hades. I think it's just that, like, the the 
builds that you can get with Hades is just so... Like, like seeing how they scale and like how they synergize is just really fun. Mm -hmm. And, and you know, the interesting thing is... Oh, hold on. So, is Gumi able to get into the room? Uh, no, but yeah, uh, he can just host. That'll be fine. But yeah, um, the, the really, you know, the, how I can tell it's a really well-designed game is that uh, every time we discuss Hades, you know, amongst ourselves in, at local, oh, in Discord, because we don't have locals no more, but you know, you know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Everyone has really varying opinions on what's good. So like, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's anytime someone says one thing, there's arguments for and against of, oh, maybe this is better. Or like, oh no, with this build, you can do this. It's like, oh man. There's actually, like, the more and more you play that game, the more you realize how, like, much depth there is to it. Yeah. That's what I really like about it. And then, you know, just on the technical side of things, the game just runs extremely well. No no bugs. Runs smooth. 144 yeah. FPS on my, on my monitor. I love it. So good. Yeah, I'll definitely give it a shot. Uh, so we got Gumi and Pat. So this is, Ugly yeah. Pat himself. The third plotist. You know, Johnny does look like a thug. Whoa, hey now, Johnny is a cool guy. He's the cool thug. He's a nice guy, actually. That's what I like yeah. about Johnny. Okay, so we got Viking versus Johnny. I'm not really sure what I'm looking for in this matchup, because uh, Johnny has a lot of those big single hit confirms, you know what I mean? But, you know, but then he also has dash up throw, so... And, uh, Pat is definitely known to just dash up throw sometimes. Oh, but then Viking gets run up throw this time, I guess. That's fine, why not? Ooh, just barely missed. Oh, no. Barely missed Ooh. his opportunity to okay. kill. Oh, no, he missed it. I think, uh, Pat can still make a comeback, though. Nice air throw. Oh, he didn't combo off of it. He could've got a combo. You know, okay, you hate to see three. it happen. Yeah, you hate to see it happen, really but this nice. might be the comeback. Oh man. Oh. Force break the timing, okay. <laughs> yeah, man. In those situations, you always somehow you always forget that she has that move. Oh, I'm getting that. hit by meaty 6k. You hate to see it. But yeah, um. Is there, is there any particular knowledge that there might be in this matchup that you know about? Because it was pretty um, cut and dry to me, it. from my knowledge, but I'm not very versed in so, this game yet. So in this matchup, uh, the Johnny player has to... I mean, he, 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 he can definitely handle the matchup, but you have, he has to be very careful. Um, okay. And just play more uh, mind games with the four dash points during heavy pressure to get the throw. See, my, my immediate thought is always, how good is this character's throw game versus Biken, you know? And uh, Johnny can definitely just, you know, you're blocking, then he just dashes up and throws sometimes, so. Mm -hmm. And plus, if you're if you're at over here, you don't even dash up throw, you just walk up throw for some reason. But you know, it works. That's the very patient, and I like that about his playstyle. He's, he's always thinking about uh, where the player is standing, where they're in the community. God, look at that damage. That, that was sick damage for sure. Oh. Nice call out. Okay, you hate to see it, but Reversal Super takes it. That's a, that's a one, one on the board for Thug Plot himself. Yeah, that was an early, uh, that was a good early momentum for Gumi though. Like he was able to get... Um, yeah, that's set from. Oh yeah, that's one thing. Uh, so when we all when we all shifted from Exard back to Plus R to play the rollback data, right? Um, mm -hmm. one of the things I had to get used to was uh, Exard to mash out a stagger. You do buttons in this game. You used your stick, right? Yeah, man. So um, Johnny yeah, has dude. some moves. Yeah, Johnny has some moves that forces you into stagger that are not real combos if you don't <laughs> mash out in time. But like, you know, you have to be pretty precise about it or else. Oh wow, what a 6P. I do, I do miss the buttons uh, when you get staggered and like an anchor, but I don't know. I, it doesn't, it's not too bad when you're in the, um, having to go back to like, we're going back and forth. But the only thing that's bad about it is if you put you in a um, bad situation, like when you 
<laughs> there's a lot of staggering. You're holding four, right? And then there's a move coming out. <laughs> You're gonna yeah, it's... Move. It's funny because the way I um, mashed out a stagger and Exard already was I did the buttons like I, I hold one button down and then like piano two other buttons, mm -hmm. but and then um, instinctively I always just move the stick anyways, you know because it's like I'm mashing out a dizzy in another game. Yeah. So so then when I switch when I shifted to a uh, plus R I was like already okay because I already just do the stick and the buttons at the same time. Mm -hmm. But it but it is a little weird. Oh wow. He really spent the 100 meter to win the round, but you know what? It worked out. But yeah, um, the thing about it, the reason it came up is because, uh, Gumi is, like, actually really good at mashing out a stagger. Granted, he's playing on a cheat box, so he should be, but, um, you know, like, I, when I was playing versus Johnny for the first time, I was like, man, how, this can't be a real combo. And yeah, and then Koma was letting me know it's not. You just have to mash out a stagger. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of situations you've got to be able to stagger out of, right, in combos. Like, if you're stuck in Ava combos, too, right? Like, there are combos stagger you during a record. Like, you know, it can be, you can, you can get this stuff out of that best spot just by getting used to uh, staggering out. But, yeah, and then, uh, done, but it takes plus, practice, for sure. Plus R doesn't, like, tell you that it's not a real combo, so I was like, there's no way I'm actually getting staggered infinitely. Like, you yeah. know. Okay, turns out it didn't quite work out for biking that time. We got a we got a two zero for Thug Plot himself. Yeah. But yeah, biking's definitely a character. You know, if you if you haven't practiced how to mash out a stagger yet, yeah, uh, you better <laughs> you better know how because Johnny's gonna Johnny's gonna make you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so we could run up. We could do the uh, match with uh, Vicky Viper versus Risser. Yes. I'm not sure how do you pronounce the name. Is it Risser or Risser? I, you know, I don't know. I, I think I've said both Risser. interchangeably. He, he's never corrected me, so... I'm just gonna assume either one's fine. We have an ongoing joke about, like, for some reason, streamers never pronounce our usernames correctly. Like, <laughs> like, like, okay, you see mine, right? Like, the way... The way I see it, and the way I thought it was obvious, is it's it must be Okrans, right? Like you know, Okrans, just, yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, just look at it. For some reason, for some reason, every time you know I would like spend that Twitch Prime or something and sub to someone, they'd be like, "Oh, thank you, OK Rans." I'm like, "What? Like how? Like how did it? How did it was OK Rans <laughs> the one that you thought it was?" Yeah. Some, like some people say, "Ok Rans." It's like "Ok," like a A W K sound. I'm like, oh, "Okay, maybe," Oc. Oc. but. Yeah, but like, how how did you get okay rants? Like, there's no hype in there or anything. Like, yeah, I'm just like, okay, whatever. It, it's always whoever I happen to, you know. It's always whoever I happen to uh, sub to that month. I'm like, oh yes, I'll get up on stream. They're gonna validate my existence. I'll be a happy gamer. Get my shout out on stream, <laughs> and then and then it's just like, oh, okay rants. I'm like, ah, oh, god damn it. If only I could just give myself my Jeff Bucks and Twitch Prime. Oh, by the way, this is uh, a very tough matchup for Kai. This is one of the hardest matchups in the game, for sure. It's um, usually in Justice Fever. But there, I mean, yeah, but if you're um, being cautious of the, of the bomb and trading hits with the close S, um, it will knock him down. So you can actually do that to kind of close the gap a little bit. I mean, it takes very small damage from me. So, yeah, we'll see where this goes. I can believe it now that you're, you know, I didn't actively think about it, but now that you said it, I can believe why this sucks, right? Yeah, you, okay. you got a bunch of normals that are, you know, like big, but you know, big recovery, only hit once. And then, you know, you got Justice over here sending three projectiles on the screen, yeah. like, okay. But also when you try to take the hit or the bomb too, right? Like Justice can also just throw out a normal or a special while you're doing that. So there's a lot of things that, um, I have to be aware of this one. Definitely not easy. Oh wow, but she does just have Stun Dipper, so that worked out. Tank the hit of the nuke and then Stun Dipper. Oh, footsies. Oh, can stagger con? Yeah, there you go. That's why you gotta mash out a stagger in this game, guys. You don't want that to happen to you. Yep. You also shouldn't be getting hit Meteor Rizzer, come on. No, no. 
I wonder if it was if uh, Vicky was going for uh, after the two sixty for kick. Oh, okay, okay. I like that. Yeah, earlier I didn't know he was going for. It. I didn't mean he was going for like a delayed uh, with funny. Okay. Okay, you know, for for saying it was one of the worst matchups in the game, that was a very quick first match. I'm just just saying. Well, you know, I'm just saying. It also depends on the. Uh, uh, you know, for the other, the justice player too, is how uh, knowledgeable of. Oh yeah, the yeah. Kind yeah. Of I, I was agreeing with you, way. Kenji. I was agreeing with you, Kenji. I agree that you know this is probably a terrible matchup. I was, I was, my my saying that was indirectly towards someone else. If you, if you catch my drift, you know, I, I don't think <laughs> right, you should be getting. Right, right. Hit, I don't think you should be getting hit meaty with six H. But you know, sometimes it happens. I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah sometimes. Come on. Uh, are we showing the world that Maryland or DMV doesn't block? Surely not. I would never mash on wake up. Your <laughs> I would it never ever mash on wake up. Not me, guys. Does charge stun edge matter in this matchup at all? You know, because it does hit three times, right? But it's so uh -huh. slow. I mean, it's, it's the same with any other match. For this one, it doesn't go under the fireball, so I don't know. It's, yeah, it's a, my, it's a different my, there. my thought it's, is it hits it hits three times, but the thing is, it's just so slow that like it probably mm -hmm. doesn't actually help. Yeah, and then uh, Justice can also like uh, negative edge and delete the super jump with other missiles you know, going on. And that's how Justice usually closes the gap really quickly, hitting bombs and then just super jumping. Yeah, I think I think I'm noticing that the actual matchup comes down to tanking the nuke and then doing stun dipper. Mm -hmm. Because if Justice commits to uh, trying to get a projectile out, then stun dipper is just gonna clip her. Yep. Oh, oh. Okay. Okay. Ooh, nice so hit, bro. Just going for a reset in there. Oh, she was going for. Wow, anti air five D. <laughs> Yeah. Oh! I actually really like nice. what Vicky's doing here. It's just tanking the hit with far slash. It's really smart, actually. Nice! Ooh, that's unfortunate. Nice funny. Nice reaction to that, too. Like, she saw it hit and she converted it immediately. Okay, newer players in the stream chat, especially those in our, in our local scene, you know what mm -hmm. I'm gonna say. I, I always tell, one of like the most common nuclear habits I see is they panic burst a lot, especially when they have no reason to, and as you can see, that definitely just cost the Grizzard that round, like, he had, he didn't have the life lead, you know, he was already up around and he chose to burst, right? It, it, it got him killed, but then also the bigger implication is he doesn't have it for this round. So, mm. as you can see, I bet you he really wish he had a burst right now, but he doesn't, so, come on guys. Oh, nice freeze over there. Oh, nice but RC. Yeah, RC to make it safe. Good job. Um, Vicky did a um, really job of uh, the spatial awareness, like, towards the end. She kept her uh, spacing exactly where she needed to be uh, against Justice Normals after the stun dipper. So. Yeah, I respect it. We definitely saw the adaptation there. It was a back yeah. and forth kind of set, but yeah. in the end. She's, and Vicky she's with that 2-0. Really good spacing. Her, her neutral game is very strong. Okay, so now, let's see. Now we're going to have to do Jin and, yeah, Coma. And this is going to be first to three guys, so make sure you don't don't dip out too soon. But uh, this is going to be Jin and Coma. Okay, so this will be the first, you know, extended set we get. And my palms are getting sweaty <laughs> thinking about this match, because this is going to be crazy. I, I can't wait to see this. The, these are, yeah. uh, let's, let's be honest, you know, I, I can't, I'm not really good at lying to you, stream. But uh, we're, we're being honest, this is the match I was expecting for Winner's Finals. So, you know, we are all looking forward to this one. This should be pretty good. Yeah, this is they they, they were good. seated highly, you know. It was the faded matchup. Hey, Jin, uh, yeah, Koma, I mean, over the past years, I, you know, we played for a long time. Like, when I was in Maryland prior to my move to California, and, dude, he was 
always giving me a hard time with his Milia when he was uh, playing AC. At the time, it was so good. And he adapts really, really well mid match too. Like, he's good at adjusting on the fly. Uh, Jin and C is uh, really good too. Like, he has really good uh, pressure. Um, spatial awareness of how to handle a situation uh, when people start blocking his fish. Um, and this is tough for uh, Zot to, uh, for Eddie, so we'll see how this goes. But Koma's a very strong player. Yeah, um, I was actually talking about this with Koma because he had to play uh, Moongrass, who's been playing Dizzy, right? And um, mm -hmm. one one thing that's interesting, the way uh, Koma was saying, is Dizzy is one of the characters that has a higher throw range than average in this game, right? Like compared to the rest of the cast, she has a higher or a longer throw range. But actually, mm -hmm. Zato is one of the few characters that matches her. And as you just saw there, they tech, right? So, so this is really important because uh, Dizzy has an extremely strong throw game, obviously. But um, what makes it so strong is that range, right? But uh, Eddie, Eddie can match tech because his is the same. And what Koma was saying is, you know, anytime I get thrown, it's my fault, you know? Yeah. Because he's one of the few characters that can contest, so he has to. Right. And then in addition to that, um, he has the drills, right? So like, you know, if, if Dizzy isn't standing at the right spacing and tries to summon, he can just use drill. Right. But right now, Nakoma, they're kind of going back and forth and kind of, uh, in a sense, they each other up, right? Like in terms of like, who's going to throw out the, the long run Ooh. first? But Koma just came back from that, confirmed from mid-screen. Uh, oh, really oh Ice Spike, uh, don't do it. Yeah, with oh, an ice wow. spike is very dangerous in this game, I have to say. Yeah. It's no it's no ice spike wire C from Exar, but, you feel me? But Koma's definitely handling this uh the facing against Dizzy really well. And also his facial awareness. Even um you can see Viv respecting that space right between each other when they're mid screen because he he wants Koma to push a button or do something. So they're both very aware of the kind of chat. Yeah, these are two set play characters too. It might be like this sometimes. One round might be all Dizzy, the next round could be all Eddie, so... Yeah. And I'm pretty sure that's what just happened, so there you go. Yeah, that's that happens when you have two really strong players, right? Like, a lot of these uh, back and forth uh, shifts. Oh, oh no. That that can be the start right there. Yeah, sometimes these, like, your really strong players just need that one opening, and then they're not gonna give you the chance to yeah. leave. Yeah, so they're playing very clean too, and they're trying to minimize their mistakes as much as possible. And looking like Koma right now. Oh my God. Yeah, I think he's in. He's caught in the blender right now. Um, Can we talk about that double IID into empty jump throw? Like, oh my God, <laughs> come on. This pressure is. This is rough. Really yeah. uh, it was exactly yeah. as you said, Kenji. Uh, Jin got that one opening, and yeah, Koma did not get the chance to play. Holy shit. Yeah, so you can tell that both these players are very aware of their um, things they, they can't do in this matchup, right, against each other. So, yeah, and, I, you know, Como is respecting uh, the pressure in the corner, uh, as he should, and it's tough. Jin's definitely shutting off all the options, both ground and air, um, with a jump vest. It was really good. Yeah, I feel like that first round might have just been, you know, playing a little, little, uh, what's the word? conservatively, seeing how each mm -hmm. other want to play, but then, you know, Jin ran it right back with the 2-0, so... Yeah. Un un unanswered 2-0. And it looks like it might be the same right now. Let's see a double air dash right there. See, like, these are the small signs of, like, really experienced players playing each other, too. Like, stagger pressure, like, seeing if he burst. Koma, Koma's, uh, what's the word? Koma is experienced, and, uh, you know, he didn't give the burst there. The Koma still didn't come back. Um, it's a, you know, whoever gets the momentum started, yep, like right here, I'm probably going to be doing this for a while. Ooh, but nice block on the overhead. Right here, this is it, this is his turn now. Blocks the overhead, but then gets hit low. Nice. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was uh, <laughs> intentional or not, but the three thing away from my spike was pretty close. Yeah, that was with ice spike into with drill. That was a little unfortunate thing. Oh, he's dead? Oh my goodness. That's a combo, man. But yeah, it, it does a wall stick when you get hit by the laser fish. That, that's insane. Yeah, you, and you can even burst. Into the ice plate. Oh, don't let Dizzy have her stage, no. That's the power up. 
You let her have her stage three times in a row. Yeah, so right now it seems like it's in favor of Dizzy. Um, and Koma, Koma still can make a comeback, right? But he would have to really play on point. Like anytime he gets a knockdown or a hit, we all have to count. Like, and let her out, uh, try to get the life lead as early as possible. I never ever doubt Matthew Komatos. He can definitely run back to 3 0. I've seen it. Wow, that you were really looking out for that third overhead. <laughs> you didn't block that 5k in the third time. Because, uh. Oh, yeah, man. Maybe, maybe uh, Koma recognized that Jin's just fuzzy guarding, so he needs to throw off the timing, right? So. Yeah, it was delay 5k. Like I said, this is the stuff you start seeing when you see really uh, strong, experienced players. Like the nuance between how they open each other up really starts to uh, really starts to vary. Oh, oh the FRC made it safe! Holy moly! Ooh, nice. Like Nobiru hit on the nice. other side. Did it count? Okay, he's trying to he's trying to buy time to develop his meter again. Picking his Eddie. Now, if he gets one knockdown, this could be it. Like, this could be, uh, Chroma's match around here. I wouldn't Very count good on Dizzy, movement. though, either. If Dizzy gets one knockdown, it might be over for Eddie. Yeah, yeah. And, because, yeah, yeah he's he in the gets corner a lot of damage. Too. Nice. Dude, I'm telling you, man, Chroma has really good movement in the air. Like, he definitely knows how to avoid situations. Putting in himself, you know, and, um, good oh, no. oh. oh, he drops the combo. Man, these two are playing super patient. The time's gonna run out. Oh, he missed the He's going for the girl. Oh, wow. Stagger 2 2k. Yo, that two. movement from Kuma was nice earlier. Pretty sick. Yeah, and that, 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 uh, that round went almost down to the last two seconds. These players are really trying to play patient. Not, not giving up going. anything. Nope. He's, he's, still, he's still trying to fight time, right? Yeah, now he's meter full. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh man, that sucks. Little yeah, Eddie with the assist. Yeah, he's to off our team to start up the Eddie pressure, but yeah, I stuck it to death. Okay, Kalma's definitely buying time for Little Eddie to come back now though, so this is a little bit rough for uh, Eddie. Okay, there it is. Oh, gets there the throw into the corner too. Oh no! The super. <laughs> man, I hate this. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that damage. I was playing against Moongrass, right? I called out the wake-up super with the delay IED mix-up, and it still hit me because it's so active. I landed into it. Yeah. It made me so sad. You gotta, you gotta respect him, man. Ooh, command throw. Breaks it out after not using it at all in that last match. So there was a lot of good back and forth there in the last round. It was awesome. Yeah, I think I feel it. I think Matthew Comto smells the blood in the water. You can feel the energy rising. I'm not gonna jinx my man coma, and I'm also not gonna lie. I'm obviously very biased. Don't think I wouldn't be biased against <laughs> against my own tournament. I definitely <laughs> I believe, will be. Yeah, I believe in Matt too. I believe in both these. You know, all these players like they're definitely showing. Uh, oh yeah, don't get me wrong. Like, don't get me wrong. These, both of them definitely strong, but I'm I'm cheering for my boy coma. Don't think I wouldn't do that. Yeah. Dude, Commentary coma, bias. I, I'm, I just, I'm yeah. absolutely about that life. <laughs> I'm very, uh, I don't know, like, nervous now, because, like, when I see, uh, Mac Loma trying to get the meter back for a little hitty, and he, <laughs> well, or he, he, you can tell when he's going to have the momentum, right? Like, oh, he's ready, he got the pressure started, and then he gets knocked down, and one little thing, and so, hitty, and he, he, he got to buy time again. But, uh, this is a little bit scary, though. It was a bad burst, but he, he was able to, you know, capitalize, but... Dude, this is where the mentality changes, right? He, he whipped burst, but, you know, Koma's, Koma's more than willing to just really wait out a round, so, you know, he can buy time to buy as much burst back as possible for the next round, but, mm -hmm. yeah, it didn't work out. <laughs> okay, potential set point for Jin again. Yeah, Jin's playing, he's also adapting to him well. I guess his match is going on. You can tell both players are adapting. What? A bar A5D. Oh, Mr. Air Throw. That's crazy. I think we've seen more text in this match than we've seen in the entire tournament. Yeah, for that, sure. That might be like the third or fourth tech. 
Oh yeah. Nice delay by Fable. Delay low but free delay. convert. Okay, you're in the eddy zone. Oh, dead angle's out. That was actually really smart of of uh Com or of Jin too, because um Generally, right, Eddie is a character you have to be really careful dead angling against because little mm -hmm. Eddie will tank the hit, but he chose the dead angle when little Eddie meter was gone, so right. he was practically guaranteed. Once again, the player is showing their experience, and it's getting really close. Jin can close this out, but Eddie just needs one touch. Look at this. He's gonna, oh, he's no. gonna draw first. He's gonna draw first. Oh, oh, nice! Oh my gosh, it jumped K, bro. <laughs> the rising jump K. I feel oh, it. Let's go, Coma. All right, Jin. If you're watching this back in the VOD after this, look. I I, I really like your play style. I think you're looking really strong and great out there. But I'm sorry, I'm cheering for my boy Coma. Both these players. I mean, Coma especially is playing very well. <laughs> Ooh, delay IED. Let's get it. Oh, you went! Ah, I know, I always want to jump away from there too, but it's always better to go for like hand. Oh, the laser fish hits twice? Oh, oh no. got caught. Oh man. He's gonna do damage too. Holy oh man. Okay. It's gonna happen. Alright, you bigger. have to activate your V trigger. You have to get this. Oh, the fish! Oh, oh I, thought it was hit the fish. I thought it was gonna hit the fish. <laughs> yeah, you hate to see it. The fish hit twice. The fish hit twice in this game. That was a good. Um, that was a good set. Very that, enjoyable. This, this was, was the cool. fated battle, guys. You knew it was coming. And yeah, that's a that's a three one. Great job. Um, great showing from Jin too, and Koma. Like that was really strong back and forth. You can see the adjustments uh, as they were playing. But for sh man, I was kind of uh, surprised that the fish didn't get clipped because it almost. Looked like it was coming at the same time, but I guess they hit busy first. Yeah, I wonder if the outcome would have been different if the, the fish got hit instead of dizzy. It'd be like that sometimes, but yes, that was a really good match. Good thing it was seeded well, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of tight moments there. It was a lot of like, man, if it's like just one small thing happens and it, it turned the whole tide of the match like several times. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we have uh, Vicky versus Thug Plot. Oh, this is a Kai versus Johnny matchup. This should be very fun to watch, too. Two characters poking neutral. Does that exist in GG? Do we see it? The ground game? Dude, Koma is so good, man, with his movements. <laughs> he oh, avoided so many bad huh? situations. It was cool watching that. I told you, Koma's nice though. I'm cheering for my boy. But you know, he's not out of the tournament yet. Whoever wins this is going to have to do a loser's bracket, uh, loser's finals against Koma. So we'll still see him next. Mm -hmm. But this Some is first to two right now. Gotta fight for your tournament life. Alright, so two very, uh, you know, Grounded neutral characters. Do you think? Do you think anyone has a particular advantage here in this matchup? I think most people would say Johnny, right? Uh, you know, to be honest, I don't know uh, this dark matchup too much, but I would feel probably. I don't know. They both have good tools, and I can keep Johnny blocking a long time too. I don't know. It's like. Both these characters kind of want to do the same thing, so... Well, I would I would think, though, that like, it's, it's, it would be hard for uh, I to get in versus Johnny, right? Just yeah. Of, um, but the Kai, but then, once Kai gets the knockdown, I think Johnny's going to be blocking for a while. But then conversely, right? Like, Johnny with his super linear movement, you know? Can be tough to get into. Oh, okay. He was trying to... Prevent. He could have 6P there, but... Ooh, oh super. no! Very good reaction. Yeah, so Vicky earlier was trying to do the force break on um, TSE. And uh, 
for the anti air, right? But just the startup is a little too slow. It's slightly too slow net for that range. Yeah, but uh, you know, now that I'm seeing it too, I feel like these two characters probably want to play in a really similar range. So it's going to become a really strong yeah. whiff punish game. And you know, when it comes to the whiff punish game in GG, I don't know if any characters do it as well as Johnny. So. Yeah. I feel like this would be a pretty even matchup though, to be honest. Like. Oh, nice. Okay. Ooh. Oh my. That's a combo? Yeah, it's a combo. Yeah, it's a combo. You could do up to like six. Okay. I like that. I like what you did there, Vicky. Salute that. 6H. Oh no! Dropped it! Ah, that would have been. Big damage too. So Vicky's coming back. Oh, what? Yo. Okay. <laughs> okay, big air hurt box for Johnny. Sad times. Yeah. That was his jump K, too. Yeah, you know, he went for the cross up, but your hurt box is big. Got All right, now let's give credit where credit is due. Nice that was totally, credit. totally a calculated play on Kyle Kisuke's part, I'm sure. Kyle Kisuke players don't just get lucky. That would never happen. Oh, we get the deck helmet going. Look at the damage. Yeah, that's it right there, Chad. I was telling you, Johnny is definitely going to make sure you, you, you mash out a stagger, or else that happens. Ooh. Oh. Oh, like a super? You hate to see it. You know, you see, it's like bug plot over here. How many times has he won with super? You think, oh, this time he definitely won't do it, but no, oh, he'll, he'll still do it. You haven't shown him not to do it, so why not just keep doing it? So we have uh, Jin, Koma, Vicky. Yeah, so these guys that you're seeing already, like, they're going to be in tomorrow's round robin. Uh, so they still have a chance, right? So this this is exciting. So these are really good matches. Who is it that you wanted for the round robin? Was it the top four or the top five? Uh, it's the it's the remaining uh, top five uh, after first place. So it's like second through sixth place. Yeah, yeah, so technically top six, but then top Sam's six, yeah. Sam's the winner, so... Yeah. Oh man, look at these combos. Oh man. And he's got level, is that level 3? He got level 3, right? Man, Johnny's nice with it though. Like, you know, sometimes you're like, man, fuck Johnny. Nice. But then other times I'm like, man, Johnny combos are so cool. Oh, like super? Oh. Okay, okay, Vicky, you gotta know. If he has, he, he has 100 meter, like, you, you're gonna have to safe jump this man. Yeah, just, just let him hang himself when you, in those situations. Uh, especially when, uh, Vicky already set up the, uh, the air force break dust so like yeah i think that that could have been baited out Here, here's the thing though just knowing I, thug I plot you can still come back though knowing thug plot he had 100 meter if you safe jump the first super he's just gonna super again so you have to be careful hmm. oh went for the fuzzy Ooh, what is this what's going on damn that that stun edge was fucking nice active. Bro. Nice. He's yeah, nice to get. Oh, no. No punish though. There it is. No. Okay. <laughs> I at least that's the... <laughs> he spent a hundred meter. At least, and at least you don't have to worry about it for a little time. Oh, oh no. no! Not the burst. I'll drop this comp. Oh. Okay, I jinxed him. I'm sorry. Alentid occurs. He could have won right there. Ooh, nice six nice speed. Oh, nice right. combo. Oh. oh, you hate to see it. That was the smart play, though. I feel that was, it. That was, a, that was a really good comeback, but yeah, I think they got into uh, Vicky's head with the jump K, just the dash up. Yeah, I mean, I'm definitely holding down back in that situation. I got the. You know, yeah, especially when you have a pixel wipe, you don't want to. You want to be extra cautious, right? So he was like, oh, okay, I got this random <laughs> jump K. Okay, um, so we're heading into losers finals stream chat. You know, I have to do it to you. I'm gonna hit you with that uh 90 second ad so we don't get pre rolls. If you want to take that break, now's the time to do it. Get a drink, use the bathroom. We'll be right back in 90 seconds. For now, let's enjoy a word from our sponsors. Okay, let's see, ma'am. 
Yeah, so we uh, that was them. both players dropped, uh, you know, match winning combos right there at the end. But, uh, you know, yeah, it'd be like did. that sometimes. Yeah, okay. the thing about the, well, Johnny, Johnny Super is good, but <laughs> when, um, but Pat particularly, he, he will try to do reversal super uh, when he can, right? Or when he feels like you're going to push a button. So it's one of those things, it's like those player habits you get to be aware of or just play the matchup enough that you just know that's not, a, especially without meter, watching a opponent's meter. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. And I don't think, I think Kai can stun dipper to super. That'd be funny. I wouldn't put it past Kyle Kisuke to have that privilege. I've seen some shit in my time with stun, stun dipper. I I give props to you though, Vicky. That was a close one. Those good matches. Yeah, yeah those were really good. And you're and Vicky, you're still in for tomorrow's uh, round robin, so you still have another chance. I give credit where credit is due, Vicky, but you hate to see it. You hate to see the wake up super pull out like what three of his four wins, so <laughs> so Sometimes yeah. you think you sometimes you think, oh, he wouldn't do it again, but nah, he's just gonna super again. Yeah, Pat Pat is interesting. Like I remember he used to do I think an exit, he would just spend all his meter on the uh the what is that, the divine blade? Divine blade? <laughs> like, or the, the uh, what do you call it, cheddar cheese stick, whatever. Oh, oh you mean Zwy Zwyhander. Oh, Zwyhander, yeah. I don't even yeah. know what the hell. Anyways, um, yeah. <laughs> Zwyhander, like, over and over. You know, that's the most fearsome kind of opponent. You know they exist. He who cannot be conditioned. Yeah. Like, you know, he's yep. just going to keep doing it. There's a lot of, yeah, there's players like that. Where you can't condition them and you just have to play their game all the time. You're like, fuck. Yeah, I have that pro <laughs> I have that problem where I'm like, okay, I give them more credit than I should. It's like, oh, he definitely won't just do this again. Then he does it again. I'm like, ah, shit. This is my fault. I yeah, deserve to lose here. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, like, we haven't shown him not do it, so of course he's going to do it again, you know? Yep. Vicky showed that one time she was willing to, you know, bait out the wake up super, but you know, by then it was already too late. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. That's why people are like, why did you wake up DP there for the, you know, 10th time? I'm like, I'm sending a message. Like, I'm trying to assert my alpha male energy. Like, you you need to play my game. Okay. Yeah, Pat, I... Pat just has a, yeah, he loves using meter when he can. It's not a bad okay. thing, though. It's just, it's just his play style. Okay, add time over. Overlay is updated. Putting GG back up on the screen. Okay, we're good. Ready when you guys are. Okay, let me switch to spectator. There we go. Alright, this should be good. Time set, for dude. losers finals. First to three. Yeah, Jen is sitting cozy in the uh, in the winners. And uh, whoever comes out of this will definitely be a good match, for sure. What the fuck is that win rate? Look, you, you clearly haven't heard of the legend of Komatos himself, you know? He's out here <laughs> taking names, like... He's a gamer. Don't mm -hmm. ever doubt it. Yeah, Matt is a very smart uh, player. He's very smart. You know, whenever you play him, you, you, you feel the experience, you know. You know he knows the matchup, you know he knows the ins and outs of the game. It's normal. You're gonna lose to a better player, and Matt Coma tends to be the better player, more often than not. Mm -hmm. And it's just the way he adjusts the matchups, too. Like, the way he handles the, uh, the mid-match, like, um, Alina stuff, like, it's incredible. Uh, it is worth noting, though, Homa is the one who sent Bugplot into losers, so this is the run back. Do you think there's any like particular interactions here we're looking for in this matchup between these two, or...? Well, right now... You can see, I think, I, so in this matchup, I think in particular uh, for Pat, like he wants to save coins, right? Possibly to kill... Uh, little Eddie uh, when he gets it started up, but 
Is he tough? Yeah, like right there. So I think that's what Pat's looking for. But now he's also running out of coins, so he has to find a way to get different damage. Uh, momentum gives him out. Every time he kills Eddie, he kills Eddie, but he's always uh, oh, a back Oh, double to overhead. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. I I can see I can see coin being very valuable to uh, killing little Eddie, but you know as I mentioned earlier, uh, so it's Pat is definitely known to cash out on coins really quickly. Yeah, but at the same time, you wanna when you make, hit the coin, you wanna make it count, right? Like going in. So. Yeah, you don't get those back in this game. Well, not just that too, because in this matchup, like you have to. Like, if you let Eddie get started, it doesn't matter, like, how strong that guy is. You don't want to let Koma get started. You yeah. first. <laughs> Never don't let Koma get started. started. In more ways than one, both in the game and outside of the game, don't let Koma get started. <laughs> oh, oh my god, that actually is nice. Alright, once again, a plot with the wake up suit. Oh, oh wow. Be in the coin? Oh, nice. You're in the headlights. That's sick. You got the leveled up Miss Finer for the dust combo. Mm. Oh god, you have to be really careful how you dead angle versus Eddie. Ah, Chip. Didn't FD there, but he was running out of meter anyways. Okay, first round, or first match goes to Coma. Oh, and uh, if you didn't catch the previous match of these two, or one of the weeklies where they play, you know, uh, obviously these guys play a lot. There's a lot of years of uh, match matchup knowledge between these two, so you might also be seeing, you know, player matchup uh, habits here. It's not just the Johnny versus Eddie, but it's also the Thug Plot versus Coma. So you're definitely gonna see some sauce out of nowhere that you've never seen, and you'll be like, "Why do you do that?" Oh, Nsenga. Little Eddie takes the hit of Nsenga, but now Koma needs to buy time. And little Eddie returns. Now you're in the zone. Oh, never mind. He chose the burst. Doesn't want to hold it. Oh, 5k? Damn. 5K Are you seeing this neutral? With 5k seven times in the 6p, how does he do it? <laughs> I, think he I wonder if. Well, he could have got drilled too, but I think he was looking for the Eddie. Yeah, little Eddie to come out at some point. Okay, now you're, now uh, you're in the Oh! He didn't even let me say it. I was about to say, be careful, wake up super, but Koma knew. Mm -hmm. The damage? Oh, it didn't mash out a stagger. Oh, oh nice! Oh, and Senga. Yeah, see, Koma, Koma's <laughs> definitely sweating in his seat right now. He's probably, like, That's... fuming red at that one. Koma hates... Yeah, Koma hates and Senga like that. You gotta respect that, man. Yeah, it, it's like, you know, if, if Koma blocked it, Johnny was dead. He was like super punishable. Oh, counter, counter hit. Oh, I don't know if Pat was baiting burst there or what, but it seems like neutral has been reset and these two are willing to stare each other down. There you go, he did it again, the instant air dash, uh, jump K, that clipped, <laughs> and just dashed up the row. Oh, bad burst there. Oh, this is, this is Koma's time. there you go. You, you've entered the Eddie zone. Oh. You know what, it's always, also if you have meter and you're stuck in a sandwich like that, and you end up killing little, uh, killing little Eddie, and you have enough life, plenty of life, just go for it, because the following combo that Eddie will do is not, it's not going to be as much as with little Eddie's so. though. He's tempting that angle the little Eddie just with the lesser damage. You're seeing the instant blocks here too in the in the saw pressure, but you know, Koma still clipped him with that jump K. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Eddie is one of these characters too where you have to know, you know, if you don't know how to deal with that sandwich pressure, you're you're gonna get cooked. And uh yeah. that definitely knows, but Koma knows that he knows, so he's playing on that. Wow. Oh, okay. Koma goes up 2-0, fighting for his tournament life here. Yeah, fighting for Koma. his tournament life, and he won't even participate in the 3v3. What a gamer. Okay, well, if uh, if Thugplot wants to win this, he has to make that 3-0 run back. Just to be in the loser's side of Grand Finals.
a lot of a lot of good interactions in this uh, in this set. Very fun to watch. You see, Pat can make the make the adjustments again. You know, it's weird. He got away the burst thing, the Bungard Shade combo many times. Mm -hmm. Every time I do it, my burst gets blocked. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Every time Pat does it, it, it works. It could be a timing thing, too. It's a timing thing, and also, like, uh, Matt is probably also used to seeing that situation happen when people burst, so he's probably expecting it as well. Yeah, maybe, you know, from their history of playing each other, Pat knows just when to burst against it. Okay, possible set point for Coma. That was a yeah, that was a very quick winching first round with this set. Oh man, I love those when the like little Eddie hits you back into oh, Shadow Gallery. Yeah. yeah, this combo is so sick. I love it. Ooh, Ooh nice throw attack. Yes. I swear to god, Coma has all the throw attacks in this tournament. Coma's looking really sharp. Yeah, can you believe this man doesn't actually want to play in the three V three? <laughs> He's out here fighting for his tournament life, and then he doesn't even doesn't even get anything for it. But you know, I appreciate it. He's a competitor. I respect it. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh no again. way! That did not... Oh my god! That... That's so... It touched his like wrist. That's the second time it happened too. Oh, pixel health for Johnny though. This is looking really bad for Johnny. Koma can afford to play slow here though. And Koma will definitely do it if he has the opportunity. He's trying to get a poke in. That's what he's looking for. Oh my, oh my gosh! Oh, I would not oh. expect that burst. Oh, oh, my, god. oh my god. Was... Yeah, see oh, when crazy? I said when I said I would not spend that burst, now you see why. <laughs> Look at that. Pat managed to bring it all the way back. Dude, <laughs> Pat was using every single resource and then it worked out. It was awesome. This is this is some real boomer gear. You're, you're yeah. seeing it right now. This is years of player experience. Player and and player matchup experience. Think about how many years these two have been playing with each other, so. Nice. Yeah, I told you guys, Boomer Gear neutral is real. You say, like, none of them? You have to walk to me. I'm old. Like, I'm not going to come to you. Oh, I like, what, you I like what Cat was doing there. Okay. Oh, this might be it if Coma doesn't drop it. And he does not. As yep. expected of Matthew Comatos. That was a really good last last match, but uh, Coma comes yeah. out on top with the 3-0. Yeah, really good set. Both, both players showing uh, a lot of uh, matchup knowledge between the two, right? Like, the adjustments that Pat made, especially in the uh, previous round, right? Like, that was incredible. Um, he was playing very patient, too. Like, he was just not trying to uh, hang himself so much. He was just kind of reacting to how Matt was playing. It was nice to see. Yeah, you know, if you look at the scoreboard, you see 3-0. But, I mean, if you watch the matches, those are all really close. Could have easily been 3-0 the other way, too. Yep. Sometimes just those small moments make all the difference. Yep. So we have the grand finals now. We have um, Jin, NC, and um, Koma. So this should be a good set too. So this will be a run back for Koma coming from losers. And uh, maybe he, he'll be able to reset the bracket and we'll see some really good uh, also matches here. Okay. Resetting overlay. Reset score. Okay, here's Grand Finals. Ready whenever you guys are. Alright, this is the run back too. Uh, mm -hmm. Jin, Jin is the one who uh, sent Coma into losers. But those matches were really close too, in some of them. Like, Jin was actually, well, Jin was running, you know, a lot of uh, good oppressive, like, uh, uh, set play uh, when he got the momentum, but when Coma. Uh, Play good defense and got one hit and man it kind of you know he can turn the tide like really quickly too from that so uh, 
Yeah, hopefully yeah, you'll you see really, more of that. really love to see it. Those high-level Guilty Gear matches. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's like the smallest things, and they and they just snowball into the hugest. Yeah, the hugest that's all it action. takes. Because they're always yeah, because they're, they're always prepared and aware of the situations and the best option for each situation, right? So. Here, you look. I'm telling you, Puma's making the mistake right here. He loses out the character select spin. You can't let Dizzy play on her stage. But like, I swear, it, it gives her the power up. But you know, maybe Koma's like, I'm better than this. I can win on any stage. Mm. I personally don't let that happen. Not giving her the chance, but you know, Koma's out here. Koma's won that too. Oh, Koma's played three straight matches right now coming into this. Koma, yeah, and Koma's really warm right now, so... Sometimes that makes all the difference too. He has that loser bracket run. Yep. You know, you know. Actually, I think every time I've ever seen Koma in the losers bracket, he ends up winning. So you know, he's no, he's no stranger to the losers bracket run. Yeah, it gives him that energy. I swear. For the moment and shift, let's see how he handles. The oh, that's it. Oh wow, another chance. He missed the. He missed the feed. So. Yeah, we were saying just that small moment can make all the difference right now. Yeah, that's all it takes. But we'll see. We'll see if uh, it's going to be... Oh, oh I see what he was trying to do, but it's just not enough light left. Yeah, the mm -hmm. fish hits twice. Mm-hmm. It's like you definitely have to poke her between the hits because she's probably trying to throw her or something, but damn, you get counter hit poking her. He would punish the drill with uh, Ice Spike. Very nice. Oh, what? Hit on the other side. So, can Matt do so? Oh! It's yeah. Oh, you hate to see it. <laughs> Wait, was that the glitch we were talking about yesterday? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's, like, it it's like the Super Flash hit. Super yeah. Flash um, projectile. That's the sauce. I, you know, I like it when I do it to other people with Eno, but when it happens mm -hmm. to me, I'm like, man, I hate this game. Like, yeah, you know, she but sends out she sends out her projectiles, right? And then during the super flash, the projectiles still move and they hit you. So, you know, I can't even do anything. If you weren't blocking, you're just gonna get hit. Yep. It's very similar to uh, Chun Li Super and Thirst Strike. It's like zero frames. <laughs> Yo, I gotta pull out that sauce, you know? It's in the game, it's part of the game. Yep. Yeah, I can't hate the player. It's in the game, it's... Yeah, I wouldn't do that. It. I would never hate the other player. But, you know, I'm definitely cheering for my man, Matt Coma. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. I'm throwing much respect on your Dizzy, because you're fucking nice, but I mean... This is my boy, Matt Coma, in the loser's bracket. Like I said, I don't put it past me. I'm definitely biased. But you know, honestly, I I, I end up cheering for whoever's in loser's bracket anyways, because you know, if it's good gear, you always want to see more matches. Oh yeah, it's always fun to see, and especially in the grand finals, like it's always good to see more matches, right? So it's always fun to see two strong players keep going back and forth, and you know, play along with that. Yeah, if you want good gear, you you're wanting that reset. You want more matches. Yeah, you want the reset, man. Look, I'm sorry, Dragon Ball Fighters players. I do not want to see your game hit the grand finals reset, but Guilty Gear, I'm all about it. Dragon Ball Fighters grand finals reset? Oh boy. Those matches take forever, too. Better use up all my, my ad time. Yeah, Jin's playing. Yeah, they, these, both these players are playing very well, but Jin seems to kind of edge him out with um, his playing consistent pressure. Yeah, that's why I always Look, say, Matt you know, here. Like, we'll see what happens here, because there's no meter for Jin, and Matt is in full control of the corner right now. Yeah, you're oh, definitely he, in the Eddie zone. He tried to go for the unblock one to knock down, but I think he missed the knockdown there. But he got a little Eddie again, so that's good. And Jin is just working with just under 50% tension. Nice adjustment on that confirm. You know, and you saw that like weird 5k and then it side switched and side switched back. Yeah. Oh my oh god, he got stunned? That oh is so Lord. unfortunate. Oh, Lord. Man. Oh, you hate to see it. Oh, that's so sad. Couldn't even burst if he wanted to. 
he came, oh, and that was from just that, right? When he got 50% attention, he converted all that into... Yep. That was, that was like everything perfect one, for one Jin. One little mistake. That was like everything perfect for Jin and like everything bad for Koma. But Koma, you know, obviously it was like such a um, convincing momentum there, but yeah, Jin just... A, just Like we said, you give, you give good players that inch, they will take that mile. Yeah, that get, snowball yeah. happened again. Yep. Gotta make everything count, man. Yeah, and see, it's here too. I always tell people, you look at these scoreboards sometimes, right? And it's like 2-0 for Jin right now, but, you know, if you actually watch the matches, it's so close. It never tells the whole story. You gotta see these players play. Look at that. You're in the eddy zone. But, no, little Eddie ran out and has to buy time again. Yeah, this is a character you don't want her free. Uh, you know, you want to keep her in place. Uh, you know what I mean? Because once she's out... I mean, she can, anything can happen. So. Nice, three delay lows in the command grab. I respect it. Went for the knockdown, kill. And are you seeing these map comatose FRCs? Oh, oh nice, counter hit, that's it. No, counter and that Nobiru was nice, one of them around there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at this sh movement, Matt Comer sh moving in the air, like you said. Yeah, his movement's incredible. It's funny, he's dealing with the projectiles just by going off the screen. He's like, uh, he's, I don't have to deal with this. I can fly too. <laughs> oh, Nobiru. Man, his anti airs are nice, but Nobiru. I think the little fish, I think he was aware of that little fish too, so he didn't want to overcommit, but... He, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of similar like when when you know you hit Faust, but you know like the little Faust is coming still. You, mm -hmm. know, you have to stop your pressure and the fish just, yeah. fish just saved him there. Yep. Okay, possible tournament point for Jin. Alright, chat, give Matt Coleman your energy. Don't want to see the clean 3-0 sweep in Grand Finals, you hate mm. to see it. Oh, counter hit. Man, he had forever to confirm that one. Oh, nice. Yeah, there it oh, is. Oh, nice block on the first. Yeah, some, something about that sandwich pressure. You don't really... Oh! Okay, oh, I thought he was out of range, too. No, that, that thing was really our far. Our reverse is super, my bad. If this is anyone's... Uh, round here, though. Oma has a lot of meter and a lot of burst, so... If he wants yeah. to make the comeback, he can still do it. He, oh, oh, this is it. it is. This is it. Super, come on. Nice, let's get it, Koma. Oh, that thing Oh, no, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, thank God. I would have I would have been so sad. Like, he has to work so much more after that. I was like, dude. Thank God that Super close. has to travel. All right, Koma goes up one point in Grand Finals. No, no sweep here. Man, how sad would you have been if she did that uh, command grab super on the ground and it hit him? Mm. Uh, I was pretty sad when I saw that because I, I, <laughs> I think it's like perfectly. Spe I think he was aware like that he might do that too, but it's just that range. Maybe it's because I mean, of that, it the was, range is hard to. In that situation, Koma had to had to confirm the super right, but like the scaling mm -hmm. was so high, it, I can't it believe it didn't kill Dizzy. Yeah. It's worth it. I mean. It's funny. Oh, that just barely clipped the, um, what's it called when he goes into the ground? The... Uh, oh, I always forget this. The puddle? The when he goes into the ground and comes back up, that's like a giant jaw. Well, whatever it is. Uh, Jin got away with a burst. It was really scary there. Shadow gallery. Yes, thank you. He just barely Jin's clipped the shadow gallery. trying to cover gallery. every option. You see earlier he just did like jump fast, uh, it was just to see, it was a good check, but it was just out of range. But Jin is definitely, you can tell that he's aware of the situation, trying to cut every option uh, available to Eddie. Ooh. Ooh. Nice. Oh man, Nobiru anti is so sick. 
It's like, oh, you, here we go. Oh. You, you already don't want to be predictable and get anti aired in this game, but like, if you get anti aired by no crew, that's no good. You're, you're gonna eat it some big damage. Ooh, jump nice. K. Jump K putting in a lot of work for Coma. Oh! <laughs> just barely took them. The tail of the jump cuts though. That's air footsies. Air foot. <laughs> Uh, you gotta play control now. Coma, Coma's playing that boomer neutral. You gotta come to me. There it is. Nice. Man, that was really good. That was really good. You love to see it. You know, sometimes Coma gets down in that too. All he needs is one more match to win the tournament. Coma won't let you have it. Yeah, Coma's just playing super careful right now. And he's, but he's also very prepared. I'm telling you, this man is out here gaming, and he's not even playing for a spot. Man, that's crazy. Trying to escape the corner, Nobiru. He says no. Man, you know, I knew it from playing with Koma, but you know, when you when you remark on his movement, and you're seeing it now, like, damn. Just barely avoiding things. Weaving in and out. Ooh, nice. Kind of hit me there. They play in Nooch. Ooh. Okay. Once again, this is despite the life lead, it's still pretty. Oh, that's really evil. Oh my gosh. Spends the burst. Oh my gosh. Anyone's game again. It's gonna happen. Oh, that jumped to us. Oh, oh no. My <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Both players had burst and then both just threw it away. You hate to see it. So that was a uh, 3-1, I believe? Yes, that is 3-1 for Jin, our tournament winner. Congratulations, Jin. Um, really good showing. Um, and good showing to Matt, too. Like, he did a really good job. The adjustments, man, just the constant back and forth was really cool. Yeah, you guys, you hate to see it. I'm telling you, the scoreboard never tells the whole story. It was 3-1, but those matches were close. How many times was it anyone's game? Like, man, right at the end there too. Like, both players could have won, and then both players throw it away. <laughs> yeah, but man, that was that was some really good uh, matches. Um, really, really good. So, anyways, um, the winner uh, for this event, Jin, will have the second place position for the team tournament, and then the second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth place players will continue tomorrow for a round robin, so they have another chance. To to uh, get the third spot in teams. So that should be exciting because that means there's going to be more exciting matches uh, tomorrow with these guys. So, yeah, it was good games from everyone. But, uh, you know, it's worth saying, as you said, if you enjoyed these these matches and enjoyed watching these players, we will be back right tomorrow. We got that round robin set fighting for the third spot. And, uh, you know, what else? Is there anything else you want to shout out before we leave? Uh, nope, I wanted to say uh, thank you to uh, the, the guys that attended this event, and um, yeah, you guys did some really crazy stuff in the world, so it was really cool watching everything. And yeah, uh, tomorrow uh, we'll be back on at 12 p.m. Uh, I'm not sure, so I have to contact uh, Sway how he wants to do this, because, um, but anyways, uh, we'll talk more about that later. Um, yeah, but that's it. Uh, yeah, uh, Terrago, thank you for joining the event so that I could host it. Thank you, Kenji, for offering me the opportunity to stream it. We'll be back yeah, tomorrow thank anyways. You. Thank yeah, you. Thank course. you. No, I want to apologize earlier about the uh, challenge thing. <laughs> thank you for, uh, uh, for, for uh, setting the bracket back up again. So appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Thank you. you know me, always quick on my feet, always adapting like a true fighting game player. <laughs> Learning from I my remember. past experience. And, yeah. um... The OS is... And if you know, if you really enjoyed that stream and you haven't followed, don't forget to do that. You know, if you got a Twitch Prime, no more ads for you, throw it my way. Mm. And uh, you know, besides that too, we do host a weekly event on Thursday. And this week, we're actually uh, trying a new players tournament on Friday to like really get more and more people to come out and play. So you know, if you've been scared of entering the bracket for whatever reason, Friday's your day. New players welcome. No, new players incentivized and encouraged. People that uh, join the weeklies and, you know, you see them make top four or win every week, they're not allowed. So if you want a chance to find people more your skill level, it's going to be Friday. 
and yeah. uh yeah thanks for the follow all the new follows i i don't know if you guys are all still here but you know terra goat uh wear tag vicky viper the spy moogie chris chaos and oh, oh kb nova himself yeah guys thank you for the hey. follow oh also um who are the uh, uh remaining players uh, so far so we know that coma uh, oh yeah right haha right? uh -huh. Haha, uh -huh, guys, some advice. If you ever want to run a challenge tournament, don't forget you have to click on end tournament. <laughs> one one yeah. time we did a weekly and didn't click on end tournament for two weeks. And then we came back and saw it later. Like, oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. All right, let me see. Let me end the tournament so I can get these final results. Oh, yeah. Also, thank you to our sponsors. You know, up on screen, where would we be without them? The Influence. Find your inner gorilla. Find the inner silverback. Become GG. All right, let's see. So first place, Jin NC with the 4-0. Didn't drop a single set. What a player. Uh, second place is Coma. Third was Thugplot. Fourth was Vicky Viper. And then tied for fifth is Rizzer and Gumi. So what? It would be tomorrow is going to be Coma, Thugplot, Vicky Viper, and then Rizzer and Gumi playing in a round robin. Yeah. Yeah, thank you guys for participating. So tune in tomorrow. Um, should be awesome. Right, yeah, thanks guys again. Let me hit you with that ending screen. You ready? Look at this production quality. <laughs> there you go. It's still snowing because I haven't changed my overlay yet. But you know what? Uh, I'll, I'll get to it eventually. But yeah, thanks guys. I'll see you next time. Stream ending.